Good evening, good morning, and good afternoon in every time zone around the world. Welcome to Toast to Toast AM from rugged East Coast Canada, where we have decided that it's going to snow and then rain and then snow and then melt and then snow and rain all in the last like day. So it's been fun here, but we're not here to talk about weather. We're here to have fun with me and you in the chat. And also with our co-host, Dave. How you doing, Dave? Hi, Paul. It's me. It's Dave. Man, we're supposed to have a big old winter storm. This let's talk about the weather. All right. Giant winter storm hitting my uh hitting my area this weekend. Rut row. I skipped one. I managed you skipped to one, uh, uh when you when you yeah. skipped south. When I skipped south of the border. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Very good. We uh I think we I don't know if we missed a week. Did we end up? I don't, well, we don't really have a schedule, so I guess who really knows? I think it's been at least a month since our last. But it's been a uh, bit. It's been a minute. It's been a so bit. I feel yeah. like it was in January. Like it's been a while. Mm, right, and now it's yeah. March first. And now it's March first because, like, I had my work year end. You had the, like there was just stuff. I think we pretty much ended up having. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Because we 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 together, you know, behind the curtain, we actually at the start we're like trying to figure out a day that would work, and we were going our comparing schedules, and then finally it's just like, nope, I guess it's going to be March. February is a busy one. Yeah, and if uh, but you know, first, Paul, so rent is due for everyone who pays rent. Rent is due for everyone who pays rent. Yeah. Yeah. How can the people miss us if we don't go away, right? That's 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 exactly right. And we've missed mm-hmm. everyone. Uh, mm-hmm. I don't know if you saw. Now, someone. Oh, thank someone, you, Brain uh, Cramp. Traveled this into the future. Oh, here it is. We have Brain yeah. Cramp. We'll come back to your awesome shirt. Yes. Uh, Brain Cramp says, I just got back from four hours from now and have to say that this is was a great show. So, good news. Good news, everybody. You're in so for a treat. So, it's been foretold so you and I yeah. can half-ass it. Possibly through se- <laughs> Paul, I love the youthful optimism that in some universe we do not half-ass one of these uh, shows. Mm. I'm always yeah. trying. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm trying while sobriety is yeah, knocking well. the door, and then, then his friend shows up. And then, <laughs> uh, you know what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Anyway, we are. We uh we missed every I've, all that to say we missed everyone. We're excited to hang out with you guys tonight. Mm-hmm, um, very. We have we have some. It's going to be a little bit different of a night on on a few different things. We're we're trying out some stuff. Oh, I do on, on the topic when he was with his time travel shenanigans and complimenting him. Yes. Don't think I haven't noticed all the comments you've been leaving on the uh, panel to frame videos. <laughs> Someone's clearly <laughs> been working their way through our our back catalog of. Uh-oh. Uh, some good, some bad, some in between uh, material. Our uh, our proto channel, our proto channel. Yep, everything um, comes from somewhere. I have been contemplating whether or not you know we should just do a toast to toast channel, but I think we well can we, we can uh, we can talk about, talk, something to not talk about. It, what's there to talk about? It doesn't make a lick of difference to me. So <laughs> no, that's true. That <laughs> Whatever you want to do, I'm. You know what I'm, well, I'm I'm here for whatever. Yeah, yeah. Well, let me let us know in the chat if you if that would if that would be fun for everyone. I don't know if we're you know, I don't know if the Art Bell fans are finding us necessarily. We're mainly this is apologia. I do hang, feel hang like the out. algorithm works against us in this mm. uh, in this particular instance. Also, in yeah, this, this is in defense, this content is very, very different from it's markedly different. My last live of stream. The content you create, yeah. Uh, Dave was also with a former quizzer, whom you don't oh? know. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, Doctor Janae Dick. Who, oh, uh, she uh, yeah. she is a professor of literature. You would actually love her. She's great uh, hmm. at uh, Texas State University. Well, maybe I did see like the thumbnail for that, but I oh, yeah, and, and we talked about uh, her new book about how um, the in eighteen hundreds how. Bible skepticism and Bible stuff started affecting different forms of literature as well, spilling over mm-hmm. that way. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, yes. So we did that. It was a very intellectual discussion. And now we're doing this. And now we're doing this. Hey, Paul. Speaking of which, it's toast. Cheers, Cheers to the rest of us. The, the intellectuals us. are great. 
Here's where the rest of us hang out. The ones who lived. <laughs> okay. That said, now um, we've been going on here, and I know our sponsors tend to get anxious. They want to be in the yeah. first five minutes of the video. That's that is key. Apparently, that's so, key. Uh, and we got we got one lined up, Paul. Okay, good. And we got bills to pay. Um, mm -hmm. You know, this this doesn't all happen for free. So, Dave, take it away. Who is our sponsor this evening? Well, Paul, you're right. We do have bills to pay. And while super chats are always appreciated, sometimes we need a little bit more. And Paul, I really am tremendously excited to talk about this week's sponsor. I will admit um, that not every product or service we partner with on this stream is going to suit every single watcher of Toast to Toast. Um, of course, I expect them to buy it anyways, but not every sponsor is going to be a fit for every viewer. Um, that's just the way it is, you know? But not today, friends. Today, I am here to tell you about a product that will be instantly and immediately useful to every single person watching this stream today. And that's a lot of people, Paul, as we're the only stream on YouTube. I can hear all of you asking, David, you handsome rogue, you don't know anything about my life. How can you make a promise like that? Are you not, in fact, a liar? A big, fat, dopey, lonely, pathetic liar? Well, that's a very mean-spirited and judgmental way to ask that question, Paul. I don't understand why you would say something like that. I thought we were friends. Secondly, no, I'm not a liar. I am telling the truth. I defy any of our watchers to tell me they can't think of a single use for this product. In fact, I am so confident, Paul, that I'm willing to offer this guarantee. Anyone who purchases this week's sponsor and can't find a use for it within one month can send me a self-addressed nude self-portrait and I will attempt to get a refund on their behalf. I will put my whole sword, heart and soul into it. Now, unfortunately, due to postage issues and peak service charges, I may not be able to ship that refund to the watcher, but I promise I'll try. I wish I could, you know, guarantee it, but my hands are tied. Anyways, Paul, I know you are probably tired of listening to me blather on. So before you make any more hurtful comments about my appearance, let me tell you about this week's sponsor, Paul. It's rubber bands. Paul, hand me down my walking cane. Hand me down my hat. Hurry now and don't be late because we ain't got time to chat about anything other than the rubber bands, man. This product is that rare mixture of simplicity and genius that only blesses every other generation. What looks like nothing more than a small hoop made out of flexible, stretchable rubber is in fact nothing less than an organizational tool for keeping uh, documents and posters in easy to handle tubes. Uh, when combined with foil or plastic wrap, it is instrumental in keeping food fresh. You can use it as a weapon, uh, either on its own, or you can combine it with paper clips and coins if you have ranged warfare you know, needs. And Paul, that's just for starters. You can attach it to a balloon and bingo bango. You've got an inexpensive and fun speed bag to use in training for your next big fight. Or, Paul, if you're too much of a baby to fight people for fun or profit, then that same rubber band and balloon combo is a fantastic toy for the kids. Trying to quit smoking your crystal meth? Just wrap that rubber band around your wrist and give yourself a good old snap every time the cravings hit you. It will either help you keep your mind out of the destructive uh, downward spiral or teach you to associate pain with pleasure. Either way, we guarantee you're going to see results. Are you trying to lose weight, Paul? They're pretty chewy, so you could probably gnaw on a mouthful of them for a good 40 to 50 minutes if you're really careful not to swallow. Although I'm actually not too sure about the toxicity of rubber bands or parts of rubber bands, so um, maybe don't, so don't do that last one. So don't swallow. Maybe don't swallow, and maybe try not to let the spit mix too much with them um but paul back to the copy there's a rubber band to suit every occasion you can get a scrunchy one for fun and fashionable hairstyles paul uh you can get an extra strong one if you need to neuter some cattle you can get tiny colorful ones and you can put them on braces in a sad attempt to convince yourself that orthodontics are fun the possibilities are endless paul and they're not for oh no paul these bands are now available in rubber, in elastic, in jazz or heavy metal. They'll do everything except tuck you in at night. And I haven't even gotten to the best part, Paul. The best part. The good people here at Rubber Bands have authorized me 
to make on their behalf this very special offer to the watchers of this stream. Every single bag of rubber bands purchased using the promo code toast to toast that's T O S T, the number two, T O S T, will contain within it an absolutely positively no extra charge a makeshift watch band, a one size fits all bracelet, and a flexible napkin holder right there in the bag with the rubber bands. Amazing, Paul. Astounding. If this deal was any better, you'd probably have to declare it on your taxes. So, Paul, do not walk, run to your local importer, exporter of fine latex and rubber goods today and order yourself up a whole mess of rubber bands. You'll be glad that you did. Rubber bands. <laughs> well, thank you, rubber bands. I thank you, rubber bands. I um, you you reminded me right in the middle of there of uh, of, uh yeah of, uh, some particular rubber band usages that I hadn't thought about in a long time. Well, but, you grew up you on know, a farm. There's a lot. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's a, a lot. lot. Yeah. There's a mm-hmm. lot. Yeah. There's a mm-hmm. lot you can do with them. Yeah. Excellent. Well, thank you, rubber bands, and uh, everyone, r- rush out and and get yours. Get and, yours. Um, You're gonna want that one size fits all bracelet. Mm-hmm. So hurry. And if you uh, if you look up some old uh, Kent Hovind, Derek Hovind videos, they'll they'll teach you how to how to shoot one of those elastic bands the, the furthest. When I was a kid, my dad made for me. Um, so he took an old hockey stick that had broken, right? Like the the blade had broken, mm-hmm. the, the second mine, and then got a bunch of industrial strength rubber bands from the uh, machine shop, <laughs> the heavy equipment repair shop he worked. Strung together, so he like triple um, bent over these bands. So they were like, okay. and then we, him and the mechanics that worked for him, did like a whole bunch of these together. So it was like this insanely strong, <laughs> and carved a gouge in the end of the rubber band of the hockey stick. So you'd put one end in okay. there, and then there were three clothespins on the other end around, with like this mechanism that would help them press all down because they weren't strong enough by themselves to hold it with like a okay. spring wow. and kind all of right. a thing. And uh, anyways, you could really hurt somebody with this like rubber I band. Bet. Cut. And I uh, bet. my mom was really mad, but me and my dad had a lot of fun with that. <laughs> mm-hmm. That rings true. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah. yeah. All right, Dave. So people in the chat have been concerned that yeah. we haven't mentioned trivia. They, we, we have not mentioned trivia. Yeah. And we've not mentioned bingo. Nope. Nope. So um, we do have something planned. Do Do you want to talk about that for a minute? Do or do should we save that for later? The brand new game. I mean, it's up to you. It's kind of up to you. Do you want to Do you want to save it for a bit, or you, are we just getting the, well, the new game out of the way? Is, we got a super chat from Craig. I Craig. mean, we can space it. You know what? We can space it out throughout the night too. Oh, well, I assume bit. that's what you wanted, or were you were at one point were you thinking? And you know what? Once? I didn't. I didn't think that that far ahead. How got, many do you have? We got um, eleven in total. We don't have okay. to read them all. All right. Yeah. Well, we have. Uh, I want to say first of all, we got Craig Casey, <laughs> very first. Yeah. Super chat. Very first super chat of the night. And and their very first super chat on our live stream. Oh my goodness, Craig Casey. Thank you. So uh, I watched the streams after they are live, but I just wanted to pop in and say I love and appreciate the show and you guys. Well, thank you so much, Craig. We do that, appreciate that, that. That deserves a toast. Thank you. I wish my last name was Tacy. And uh, Jay Victor mm-hmm. also sends a super chat. Can I buy rubber bands with a rubber check? I mean, that's how they paid us, so I don't see why not. I Fair might be enough. bad at my job. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair, Fair enough. enough. All right. Um, let me talk a little bit first then about what we're doing with the Art Bell side of things. Okay. And then we'll come back to the to the uh, the fun new game component later. Yeah. So tonight we are doing. We're not doing a particular show. Often we have, we pick a show, and you know a portion of a show because these shows were three to four hours. Mm-hmm. Of course, and we cover like you know half an hour worth of content because we're bad on a our good job. night. <laughs> yeah, on a good night. And so, well, what's happening tonight is I I was you know going reminding myself, refreshing myself of the Art Bell mythos, and and uh, people get, I was noticing that a lot of people were celebrating and remembering a certain caller, right? 
And it wasn't that this caller made one particular memorable call. Right. But this caller has been calling into the show over and over and over and over uh, from 1996 through till currently. So George Norrie is currently the host of Coast to Coast. And this caller is still calling in the show. Hmm. Well, good for him. So uh, someone out there made in the made a compilation of this person's calls to the show. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I'm listening to people talk about how tomorrow night is Kippersoft Jersey retirement night. Oh, I see. Well, from the year when the Flames legitimately won the cup and were robbed by a bad call in game seven of the Stanley Cup and a goal was called back that was a goal. Sit there, drink your Coke, you smug bastard. Yep. Uh, yep, yep. Enjoy all those banners in the rafters. Uh huh. Yeah. Of their Still dilapidated the building. Airport got lucky and got Wayne Gretzky forty fucking years ago. I whatever. I'm not going to talk about. It. I'm not going to get into it. Oilers suck. We have got lucky many times. We had that's Gretzky. true. And that led to the cup. <laughs> Gretzky. We got yeah. uh, we got a McDavid. We got yeah, Connor, uh, Taylor Hall. Yeah. We got yeah. <laughs> we got a, a Russian kid. I've forgotten his name. I've forgotten his name, but he was. Uh, we had we had like really we had like five did, yeah. first round first overall yeah. picks in a row. There, we still couldn't string together a win, but that's all right. Well, just keep getting forwards. That's the key. Yeah, that's that's the key. That's the no key. goalies. Anyway, we're not you here to talk your about dirty hockey. mouth, spooky bad hair. We're here to talk about rubber bands. Yes, like Martin Fern, Mark Fernkopf with the super chat. But do rubber bands have BDSM CBT uses? I mean. Paul tells me they do. <laughs> it's I canon mean, now. <laughs> here's what I this is you know my policy on this, Dave. Mm -hmm. If you if it if you don't think it has a BDSM use, you're just not trying hard enough. Yeah, that is <laughs> but I mean, it, you're kinda you're kinda right. Yeah. Yeah. Like whatever. I don't care what you're talking about. If it's a if it's an yeah. object. Yeah. Grandma's homemade cookies. Yep. Yeah. That was exactly. You, if you can't find a use for them. It's not mm -hmm. creative enough. All right. So tonight we are have a caller. We're we're gonna be celebrating a particular caller. I'm gonna say this is... just once, Paul. Sorry. It's gonna be chat. Nobody can say a word. I almost used much stronger language about Dune 2 in chat tonight. Or something. Yeah, no spoilers. Happen. No dunes. No I'm not Dune seeing it till tomorrow. Spoilers. Everybody keep their Fucking mouth shut. I don't want to hear a word about Dune 2. You're aware of the cast of Dune 2, though. Yes. So so this reference made sense to you in some way. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. No, there's nothing nothing in there that's... that Nobody said anything that's that's been a spoiler or crazy. I'm just, you know, fair warning to everybody. Also, this was a weird... One of those weird situations where Dune... I have a lot of air book. miles I've, saved up. And I've, not I've much read the book. Me. I've read no, the book like seven or eight times i don't know mm -hmm. the first one not all of them um, wow how's the trades anyways what? <laughs> but uh it's one of those ones right i was like weirdly not worried about spoilers because it's you know okay. um, yeah it's 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 fair i, I know what's going to happen i just don't want to hear people be yeah like, no like, no oh, you don't want really or, oh, this is no happens. you don't want to even even how yourself. people want, felt want about it, it. I, I wish yeah it would be better just going in clean our next uh, stream, I'll have seen it, and people can talk about whatever they want. The that's right. Chat We're all we here just, just curtsy to Dave. Yeah. Uh, we have our member chat. Might there be another member live chat sometime? Um, I should do that. I should do that again. I'd hope to do at least a Patreon chat uh, mm -hmm. this month in March. So, but I will, uh, yeah, I'll think about it. You know, if, you need, if you need a moderator, just let me know. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm an excellent moderator. Very good. I'm very moderate. Um, so I was talking about our, the call, the, what you do with our, the Art Bell thing. So, mm -hmm. caller, so his, caller. Name, his name wasn't yeah. actually JC. Art stopped him and we're going to get there. So I've heard a little bit. Yeah. Art stopped him from giving his real name on the air. It's like, I'm just going to yeah. give you a pseudonym. Yeah. That's you know, actually, to, you know, to protect yeah. you. Right. And, uh, so what we will be playing tonight, Dave, is a compilation of this of jc's calls into the show 
the full compilation is almost six hours. Okay, so this he man called into the show so much over the years. To be fair, we're talking about a, a 30 year spread, yeah, like from the 90s but, yeah. till now. So, like 30 years yeah. of calls, six hours. Um, mm -hmm. we're going to be starting with the first couple times he called into the show, and then after a few times, Art invites him to stay on to take to listen to other people's calls, and then we'll see where it goes from there. But okay, uh, but JC is a uh, mainly he's calling in to complain about whatever the topic was that night uh wasn't right. biblical okay got it yeah. so if it was bigfoot that night well bigfoot's not in the bible or if okay. it was, you know it's, yeah. it's that's the that's the, the general theme yeah theme poltergeist the not in yeah, the bible those are in the, yeah, yeah. Well, well actually some of those are but sometimes they are in the bible and he doesn't like the right. way and so then, anyway then he's got, also got right he's yeah. got a he's kind of a one one note pony as, as they say, if I'm mixing metaphors, he's passionate. He's passionate about he's passionate. an issue, right? right? Right. So, should we take one of his calls and then get into our interactive segment, or do you want? To, should we get to the interactive segment? Uh, why don't we do maybe like one just to get get yeah? Because they're all they're not they're, individually they're not that long. So all right, no, we'll do these, one these call. Are short. These are short. Yeah. We'll do one call uh, from the caller who will eventually become known as JC. Yes. Well, why don't you don't help me, and why don't you just get off the air and make way for good people like D. Gordon Reddy, Ollie North, and Rush Limbaugh? You're not even in the league. They're all on the air. Well, we could be here repeat. You are nowhere near the league well, or the caliber of a man we need on the air. You're absolutely right. Made. You're absolutely right about that. You are spreading disinformation and defrauding the American public with your constant rhetoric about the government, your Area 51, UFOs, your anti-Christian. You are anti-American, and I think you should just stop. I'm tired of hearing. <laughs> so, no hello. Yeah. Just no whatever. I'm just I launching mean, into Rush Limbaugh should be on AM radio right now, and not you. Yeah. It's uh. But you know, I I mean, I guess if you if this is the first time you're calling in, you just, mm -hmm. there's there's no real reason to start with pleasantries if you're nope. If your opening position is, uh, you should like crawl off to a corner somewhere and just right. be silent and and yeah. And Art's like, let, well, let it's let one Chris, in the morning. Chris He's like, just yeah. they then play repeats of other people. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> maybe just don't listen. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> nope. All right. Uh, so this this is how tonight's gonna go, Dave. This is how tonight's gonna go. There we go. Well, just one question. What? Why do you listen? I have someone has to keep you in check and counterbalance the lies you put out. <laughs> you are compelled to listen, aren't you? Oh, no. Don't oh, start yeah. with... Do you speak in the devil's tongue and you think it's a joke? But you it's are real. compelled. Uh, uh, yeah. Being... <laughs> oh, yeah, the T-shirt. Yeah. Yeah. Which is a shirt I've worn on this show before. Yes. I am now officially out of, of graphic oh, T-shirts uh, that I haven't worn on this show. So Novel T-shirts. Well, we'll have to yeah. get... Have to start taking suggestions from the, yeah. from the chats. At some point, I'll get some more. But you know, how many shirts? Does but we man? uh we need some of those sponsor monies to clear. <laughs> <laughs> need a few less rubber checks and a few more real yeah. ones. Yeah. Oh, my goodness, if you will listen. You will listen. Yes. Will you just cut it out and talk normal? You will listen to Please, me. This is what I'm talking about. Every chance you get, you are, every you minute, a big joke you will keep your radio America. and you will turn the volume up even you higher. Think it's a big joke, which you're tearing down the foundations of our nation. The entire... <laughs> <laughs> oh. So Art didn't... Just try, I love Art. He doesn't try to defend himself. He's just leaning yeah. into it. Well, I'm just going to be the like, devil yeah. then. Yeah, there you go. No, you're still listening. Very funny. Around Very our funny. ears. <laughs> you will listen. The rest of the Rockies, you're on. All right, so that was the first. That, that was, was the, the first, first call by JC. Also, I got to say in chat, Greenman Dave points out today is the feast day of Dave, the patron of Wales. And I'm not sure if oh. he's making a fat joke at my expense or if he's talking about the, uh, the region of the United Kingdom. But either way. <laughs> 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 uh, hmm. I'm pretty sure he's not. It is uh it is Dave Day or a Dave Day. Mm -hmm. We have a that super was, chat. That was good. Super chats, yeah. From uh from Joe Hill. 
Thank you so much. We appreciate you, Joe. If anyone told me that that I speak in the devil's tongue, I would mess with them just like Art too. LMAO, yeah. I mean, I agree. That's yeah, yeah. It's uh, (laughs) especially with someone with the earnestness of JC here. He's clearly yeah. This is not tongue in cheek. (laughs) Yeah, I am here. So he's. And he comes, obviously, there's six hours of calls if we, we'll see how, see how the night goes. Um, mm. He took his took this mission to heart that he was going to single-handedly make sure yeah. that no one, no proper Christian was going to yeah. listen to this show. He's going to refute the disinformation and, and spread. Dissuade. Mm. Yeah. All right. So, Dave, you have a fun activity for us tonight. I do. I got a brand Tell new game. That. So... This brand new game today, it's unofficial. Everyone can play along, but this is mostly, a, this is a game for Paul. You can all play along at home. We'll, we'll give it. The uh, The game is, I'm going to read something aloud. Uh, maybe slightly edited, maybe some of them, just to, to make the game a little more challenging. And Paul has to tell me, is this a, a comment from Apologia YouTube video? Or a book review from Goodreads for the Charles Dickens classic a Christmas Carol. And you can all play along. You can vote in chat whether you think it's a it's YouTube or Christmas Carol review. Okay, so so okay. should we set up just for the sake of um saving people's fingers? Like mm-hmm. should should apology a comment be one and Christmas Carol uh, be two? These, these lazy fucks can type in YouTube or <laughs> No, but then, but, but we're it's not that they're Dave, it's for us. We are lazy. Oh, will you expect okay? Yes, I we guess that's true. Be, we can we just can't kind be of see reading it. words. We need to just see a trend, yeah. right? We need to see. Okay. So I think I think we'll just at uh, a convention here. Uh so if you think that it if the comment is apology of video comment, type one. Yeah. Type one. Christmas Carol will be the two. Yeah. All right. So these you, are you for... freaking do it, Shannon. You better vote. These are I got no time me. for your sass tonight. <laughs> yeah, this is mostly for Paul, but everybody, yeah. Okay. You can say, yeah, P or D. There we go. P if it's apology. Oh, very that much. That, that's very Dickens. smart. Very Watch. good. Very good. P or D. P and D right there. Yeah. Yeah. P and D. That's that's what we can vote. All right. All right. Um all right. Which uh what should I pick here? Let's see. What's a what's a good what's a good first one? Some of these are easier than others. Uh, all right. Uh, so here's one. We'll, we'll start with this. OMG can blank. Stop annoying me. Blank just thinks he's special because he can spout like 100 million adjectives for each word. If you take them away, it's like four words and even those words are bad. Overall, one of the worst. I don't care. Uh it's uh it's bad it's so bad in all caps <laughs> okay all right all yeah. right uh okay so let's read it one more time uh, okay. and everyone put it in the chat yeah p Here's if you d. think this is apology a youtube video i i um, have i have my answer locked in but but uh yeah, yeah. go ahead d if you think this is a dickens uh review okay. for charles dickens christmas Carol. omg can blank stop annoying me? Blank just thinks he's special because he spouts 100 million adjectives for each word. If you take them away, it's only like four words, and even those words are bad. Uh, I don't care. It's bad. It's so bad. So I'm gonna all guess the, that last part's all caps. Yeah, I, I'm guessing. I'm guessing Dickens. Uh, that, primarily, that, there's some phrasing that is about words being of, short. Uh, so I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna go with with uh, the Christmas Carol. Is that right? That is Christmas Carol. That is that is Charles Dickens. All right, yeah. so we got we got that one. Yeah. Do All you right, want to do so one more just to kind of get get the? I do. The we thing. need to. Uh, so we need to do cleanse the palate here. So um, yeah. So I'm gonna. So that was that was a review that a reader had for the Charles yeah. Dickens. So uh, so we're we're here. this is a uh, question number two. I'm just gonna put question number two. Yeah. In the in the chat, just so that you know now people will. All right. Second one. If blank never existed, the world would be a better place. 
blank being the name of the person. <laughs> All right. If blank never existed, the yeah. world would be a better place. That sounds like mm -hmm. that sounds like someone from my channel. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with. Uh, I'm gonna go with. Well, let's see what everyone in the, in the group thinks. Yeah. I feel like I feel like it's my it's me, but I don't know. You you guys in the chat, you might know better than me. So I think it's I think that's apologia. Apologia statement. Mm-hmm. Do you want do you want the do you want the well people are still people are still throwing their votes in. People are still throwing their votes in, but of course we're uh, we're in, we're 30 <laughs> seconds in the future. We're so. 30 seconds ahead. So I'm gonna give the answer now. Okay, uh, that is a review of Charles Dickens Christmas classic. Oh. <laughs> oh, damn it. Is, if Charles uh, the dick <laughs> never existed, the world would be a better place. Yeah, <laughs> check next to that. Charles the dick Dickens. Yeah, <laughs> never mm. existed. Very Thank good. All the twists. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. History certainly borne him out. That's that's mm -hmm. well done. Yeah. No, Zictomorph. None of these are from chat. These are all in the comment section of Paul's videos. I do have some Paul comments. You know, don't don't. All worry. right, it's not so all that thinking. that is a game we will be playing periodically throughout the night. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> uh, your life partner is making me laugh. <laughs> well, mm -hmm. all right. So let's uh, let's get back to more more JC calls. More JC calls. Here. Yes, hello. Is this Mr. Hartbell? Yes, it is. I was wanting to make some comments about that the fact that your guest was using the, the tragedy of the TV. Do you so this is a a comment, but we don't know we have no frame of reference for what show any of these Unfortunately not. So I know that these first calls yeah. uh are from ninety six because I just know and and then I think it's the third or fourth call where Art will invite him to stay on for a while and they start like becoming like bonding a little bit. And from there, mm -hmm. maybe we'll get some more context. But no, unfortunately, unfortunately, I don't have have context. So sorry. I would also like to point out, as Guy Incognito correctly points out, a large majority of your chat, Paul, was very much on board with the agreeing the world would be a better place without <laughs> without Paul and Gia. So I was, yeah, everyone I, was willing. I, everyone that's was, not my sentiment. That's not me yeah. saying that. That's not me saying that. Yeah, sure. It rang true to a lot of people. Yeah. It's, you know, I just, mm -hmm. you know, I think now yeah, you're learning who your real friends exactly. are. Exactly. Well, I yeah. wouldn't say it, but that sounds like someone something might say. That's for but sure. I could definitely yeah. see how somebody <laughs> would say that. Yeah. I mean, you know. You know. You know. <laughs> anyway. Yes, turn, turn, your, turn your radio off. Yeah, yeah. I just did. That uh, Mr. Hogan was using the bombing as another platform to say that we shouldn't trust the government. Exploiting this tragedy, just using those victims as another further point to bring down our government. It's people like him that are responsible for the terror attacks that we have going on. Because they hate our government. Uh, are you, are you through? Yes, I am. No, not yet, but I'll let you talk. Well, uh, thank you. That... <laughs> So, uh, yeah. the nice thing is, so some people just, you know, yeah. kind of let art can roll over them. This guy's not getting rolled over. No, he's letting me, art, art knows what, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm going to let this guy. Yep. He's like Jerry Springer. He's like, no, I'm going to let this pregnant woman. I'm going to give the, you rope, my friend. 19 yeah. year old <laughs> fight on stage for as long as you want. It's like, yeah, no, whatever. There's a folding chair over there. Good yeah. to help yourself. Yep. Just don't hit anyone yeah. in the audience. Uh, I don't believe he said it was our government. Well, he, he was spreading distrust of our government. I don't, and we I, should I, not I be distrusting our I really, government. I really don't think he said that. Uh, he said he had information. Well, he meant it. I could hear it in his voice. And and that's now, the now, I, I could hear it in his voice. He meant to say distrust mm. the government. Yeah, that's what he was, that's what he was um, thinking. It's interesting because I think this would, guy would be considered right-wing in general now, which mm -hmm. is traditionally just the party of, like, we don't trust the government. Like, don't let the government do anything. Uh, it 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 honestly it fluctuates. I guess it depends on who's in, right? Yeah. I guess when right, yeah. When, when like Trump in the area of McCarthyism and through yeah. very much All the right. right wing was, you know, we told the government mm -hmm. line. Yeah, have okay. our best interest in heart. Yeah. No, 
now, now you don't need the words. You just need an intonation. Is that correct? Yeah, you can hear it in his voice. And if they did there are marching on a Jupiter moon, little creatures crawling up out of there. He didn't, he didn't say that. Everything in the Bible. He didn't say that. <laughs> so they're talking about the moon of Jupiter, apparently? So. <laughs> there were, if to say there are Martians on the Jupiter moon is not in the Bible. <laughs> not in the Bible. <laughs> not my Bible. But also... Technically, they wouldn't be Martians, right? If they, like if they were, if they and were, the deeper they were you dig there. into it, the funnier it is. It says Martians on the Jupiter Moon. <laughs> uh, this is why, Dave. I picked this. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So this is. That's pretty yeah. good. That's pretty good. Yeah. Yes, he did. No, he didn't. He said there are Martians under the surface of Mars. And what too? There, there is no. There are no life on Mars. They, they just probe. And they have not found a thing. And the fact that you're letting this go on is blasphemy. There's nothing in the Bible about people on Mars. I am compelled to do it. I am compelled to do it. I must do it. I'm trying to have a serious conversation with you. I know this. Well, I hope you know that I'll be talking to you. So so I don't know if that got that voice changer for this situation. Just... Because I don't remember Art ever using a voice changer in other circumstances. No. no. <laughs> but. <laughs> oh. oh, my goodness. Brain crap's making it rain in your uh, your chat there, Paul. He's gifting uh, memberships. He's gifting memberships. We got the Black Box Club. Welcome to the Black Box Club, everybody. Who's not, not me. Not to new members. Because I'm not in the Black Box Club, and I never will be. No. As mentioned, I'm never going to give Paul a That's because you're not in the chat. That's true. I mean, I am sometimes. Mm. Under a different name. Bashing Under it. a different name. <laughs> no, it's just my actual full name because I make no effort to hide my identity. Because, you know, a stalker is just a friend you haven't met yet, Paul. True. So come find me, internet. I'm here. Yeah. I'm giving up for you. I'm going to get me a pornographer. I can be a pornographer. Because you love me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, man. I'm going to need. I don't know if we're going to have insightful comments tonight, but we're going to laugh. <laughs> pornographer. That's a new. That's making it into my repertoire of just. <laughs> uh, oh, oh my goodness! Oh, you, you yeah. think that's funny? That all your listeners, I tell you, all your listeners are going to hell. You love me, you're all a bunch of you're, you're, <laughs> you're, you're all a bunch of devil worship, pagan devil worship. And we're going to clamp down on you. I, I, I'll get you kicked off here, and you won't be able to do this to America anymore. <laughs> you're not you're not gonna be able to do this to america anymore oh oh my oh my <laughs> i mean this is this is why i loved art bell yeah yeah <laughs> he knew how oh. to handle callers oh aram guard i wish it was just a, a single person oh mm. yeah ermigard I'm so excited Herbert. none of these words are in the Bible meme. It's a real person. Yes. Yeah. It's it's many people. It's so many people. Um, so yeah. I did actually go on a bit of a hunt to see if anyone had ever figured out who the person really is, given that they've been calling for 30 odd years. Yeah. Um, and no, oh. no one knows. No one like, knows. There's no... So, oh, but I need to, he, he became... Yeah. I need to figure. I'll find it during one of the breaks. So we he became he the governor. Become, of Arkansas he did become involved with a uh, with a potential like political. I think a third party political. Mm. You know, in the states, sometimes they try and launch Is third party candidates. And stuff. But it was something against. It was something against pornography. Like against pornography was in the name of the party title. Mm. Well, there you go. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Uh, and Joe Hill, thank you for the five dollars, yeah. Joe. Okay, I've Joe. genuinely never loved Art Bell as much as I do now. This is amazing. It's See, Joe, this is, 
now you're starting to get this is this is this is why Paul and mm. I have this deep abiding <laughs> love for Art Bell in particular in this show. Oh <clears throat> yeah, the new oh, hosts no. aren't the new hosts aren't the same, but no, no. But no, <laughs> yeah. I love Snorri. That. Terrible. I love that guy and he loves me. <laughs> you know, when you really what hate somebody. True. Now, have you noticed? Uh, even though he gets it wrong, he never misses a trap. Now, is this man trying to provide intentional pain for himself by listening? Am I a substitute, sir, for you getting out the old leather whip and whooping up on yourself? It's hard, right? You've got to reach back, whoop yourself. So instead, you turn on the radio and you listen to me. You are compelled to listen. Every minute. <laughs> Even though your poor, pathetically twisted ears don't hear it correctly, you are compelled to listen. I really like that guy. And I can tell you love him. I have to take issue with your... All right, next call. Next, next call. time calling in. We're just, we got no time. We got a... <laughs> Moving on. Moving on. Little trip over to the Communist Soviet Union. If you really believe so much in our country had to fight for so long to put them down, then why are you over there building up the communists and helping them reestablish their evil empire by what you told me, giving away valuable secrets to them and having your little shell, little Charlie, call in and say the things that you're afraid to say because you know that you will lose credibility because all these years while the winds are shifting, you play like you're a conservative, and then the winds shift, and now you're going to be a little liberal. Well, which is it, mister? What secrets do you think I gave them? <laughs> you're going to be you're gonna be a little liberal. Yeah. I, like He must have just been grinning every time. It's like, <laughs> oh, good, JC's on the line, and that's 10, that's 10 minutes. There's so, a... uh, Sonic Shroom, thank you for the super chat. JC has to be Jesus Christ. So um, we will come to learn that Art gives him the JC moniker. I think I mentioned that because yeah. he tried to give his real name on the air, and Art was like, think, yeah. "I think Art was worried for him that maybe uh, maybe that wasn't going to be a good idea." So we'll see. Oh, Kip, congratulations! He has rum and he has Coke, Paul. Oh, very good, very good. So do I. So do I. Although now I'm out of rum and Coke. Well, I have lots more of both, but. <laughs> We're going to uh, try a. I have a new beer tonight, Paul. Mm. From Fieldhouse, which is apparently a brewery in Abbotsford, British Columbia. Ooh. The worst province, Kip. Uh, it is toasted coconut black lager. I don't know Ooh. if this is the right for people. It has the word toast in it. It does. So there you go. And it's got a little adorable little fox on the can. Look at that. I don't know how uh, how coconut it's pairs with beer, so I'm curious to know how that works. Well, we're about to find. I don't know. I have four of them, and I've never tried it. Oh, so are they all the, the same? They're all, all coconut? the same because they only sold them in four packs. And I'm well, like, then I oh. hope they're delicious. Me too. <laughs> Me too. I mean, if they're bad, um, we'll still drink it. But super chat from Rusty Claymore. Thank you, super. Thank you, Rusty. Appreciate you. Yes, hey, Rusty. I picked the wrong week to tune in 30 minutes late. What even is this? Well, <laughs> well, Rusty, we can catch you up real, real quick. <laughs> this is a compilation episode. So these are clips from over decades of a caller who came to be known as JC, real name unknown, who was just really... Really passionate about the Bible. We'll just say that. Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah. and that Art was a pornographer and a <laughs> misinformation spreader and misleading people. And he was here to keep him in check. And he was going to get him kicked off the air. And he would call in frequently and still does. Still calls in to this day, apparently, yeah. to the Coast, Coast Show. Not that I listen to it anymore. And, uh, you know, makes his opinions known because that's the beautiful thing about freedom. God bless him. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um. Uh, also, yeah, per, per well, that last also, call, he also new game, but he's uh, art is single handedly undermining the government as well. Uh, yes, he is. Yes, and mm -hmm. art is at some point picked up a voice changer. <laughs> and right. Whenever this guy calls, pretends he's speaking to him in the voice of Satan and convincing him <laughs> to listen more and do what he says. It's uh, this is it is it is beautiful. It is beautiful. Yeah, 
Uh, thank you for the super chat, DM Wing. DM Fragmatory Changes Wing. Uh, communism is a red herring. I don't, I don't know if I said that loudly enough, but well, it isn't. It is in all caps. You know, we want to be uh, respectful. That's true. To our audience. Sensitive radio production secrets regarding Harp, because you have your your insiders and things those those metals and. Think. and if I've ever really, <laughs> I'm missing it because this is amazing. If I've ever like really heard you, like raise your voice, like just I don't very voice. often you, raise my when voice. When you get really yeah. mad, you get quiet. You don't get loud. It's, you're not it's a, true. You're not a scream person. You're just kind of a yeah. It's just that yeah. I'm sure your kids know it well. <laughs> they, they do. Yeah. 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 Which was that was my dad is very much a loses shit scream person. My mom, not. And it's like when my mom just gets dead silent and gets this look, and then you would just be like, oh, because my dad would yell constantly all the time, yeah. right? It's like, oh, the, the you set the table and the fork's too far from the plate. It's like, whatever. But he would never actually punish us. Or, you know, I could count on one hand the number of times my father actually right. laid a punishment down on me. My mom, if she was like, when you got quiet and going, they were just like, well, now I know, oh, Oh, oh shit. Oh, <laughs> this it's about to get she had a ton of patience. She my mother was an absolute saint with the thing, but when she lost her temper, it was like, well, okay, this is about to get <laughs> really bad. And I brought it on myself. There's no denying that. Uh, anyways, you should just try screaming sometimes. And the fact that you go to one of those places where you can like smash TVs and mirrors yeah, and stuff. Maybe. Maybe maybe I'd be a more adjusted person, but yeah. But then, yeah. but we need you. We need you cranking out these videos. We <laughs> need your true. maladjusted personality, you, uh, desperately seeking the approval of strangers on the internet. To uh, so the single line in any movie that I've ever related to more than anything ever mm -hmm. is Bruce Banner in Damn the first Avengers film. Oh, there you. That's go. the secret, yeah. Captain. I'm always, I'm always angry. angry. I'm never angry. Sometimes I wonder how you and I are friends. I don't know I don't, if it's, I, I it's don't just yin and yang. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Somehow. Would oh, uh, insinuate <laughs> that there is life on other worlds is simply at mm. Sorry, what you missed while you were yeah. Well, uh, yes, sorry. While I was so yammering. Arch, Arch said, well, what kind of secrets am I sharing with the Russians? And he says, yeah. I don't know. You, you obviously must have secret radio <laughs> secrets. Like <laughs> radio secrets, yeah. What yeah, what, what are these secret yeah. talk radio secrets that I'm sharing with the Russians? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> of trying to degrade the God given status of the most sacred beings in the universe by saying that we are not unique, that we are No, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, wait a minute. It was NASA that said there was life on Mars. That's right, and they're being controlled by forces from within the Soviet Union. Where I Union? feel what that Soviet you Union? have gone back to get your orders from the Kremlin. You are basically just you, the way you try to tear down Mr. Bob Dole and, and to say that, that he cannot win against this 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 liberal that is in our White House who is basically a communist. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, spoiler alert! <laughs> he does. It's basically a communist. How did Bob Dole do in that one there, Dave? Yeah, you know what always kind of makes me laugh. Yeah, I, he got reasonably close actually. Bob he Dole did actually. Yeah, but it was like, he, went, he, he did lose the election. It, it, it went to uh, and it went to an instant replay. Yep. Yep. Um, and I, I, I did, I didn't Bob Dole for all we go like as American politicians go. There's a lot of like. You go back to the 80s, and it's like, I would take any of these. Oh, sure, yeah. <laughs> over what we have now. Um, the What was I guess? this You know what makes, cracks me up, Paul? Uh, this is it too. So, like, talk about, uh, you know, like, Bill Clinton is basically a communist. And I'm like, as a Canadian, we always have. So we had, um, if you look at, like, the policies of the last very conservative government we had, the Stephen Harper progressive yep. conservative. Yeah. Um, government. It wasn't progressive conservative, whatever they called the conservative at that point. Right. And you compare them, the actual like policies and the, the you know, the, what the, the stances of the Canadian government versus like the Bill Clinton government. In the United right, States. right, right. Like, the Canadian 
right wing government is considerably left of like the left, <laughs> the left um, American government. And that's fine. But I just have people be like, well, wow, Clinton's a communist. I'm like, he really isn't. Like, no, no. Uh, yeah, our our most right wing party that we could have in was yeah. was in power. You're, you're more or whatever. So yeah, when uh, so Stephen Harper authorized uh, gay marriage, for example, mm -hmm. under his watch, yeah. uh, you, you, Canadian Universal Health Care was under our Conservative Party. Uh, there's just lots of different things that have been yeah yeah, yeah like our most conservative arguments would be like well. Like, should the government cover like Tylenol, you know, medication mm. for migraines? You know, it's like where we agree it's covered like all these things, but it's like, well, like the very right wing elements are like, I don't know if we should cover, you know, like all of these, you know, optional treatments or things that haven't passed, right. you know, all the government things, and 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 just various. You know, it's like, well, should you have 12 months of maternity leave or only 10? <laughs> yeah. You know, like that's the difference between our right and left wing. Yeah, that's China. right. Yeah. Should it be 12 right. months or 16? Yeah. Nobody's, meanwhile, nobody's meanwhile in the States. It's like, yeah, if you're uh, pregnant, you get six weeks maternity <laughs> leave, but we're calling oh, it disability. We're calling it disability just because we don't want oh, you yeah, to feel good about yourself. Yeah. 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 That's the. Uh... And yet there's still people, even in Canada, that are like, think that like our right wing and the American right wing is the same mm. and then our left wing and the American left wing is the same. It's like, it's, it's not where as much as our cultures are very much. So, but unfortunately they've, they're, I feel yeah. like it's, I feel like they're getting closer than they have been though. So mm -hmm. I don't love the trend, but, but no, no we're, we're not, uh, we're not in the same. Or Melody Kate. Anyway, that's we're not a politics world. show. Melody We've, Kate. Uh, you, well, so there was like an Eddie Dean one. Yeah, we've missed all kinds. Yeah, so yeah. We need to get caught up. Um, Should I read some? You've read the last couple. Yeah, read I'll this read one because I've now lost where I'm trying. Okay, go ahead. Reading. My husband used to brew beer. My favorite of his brews was Old Goat Scrotum Stout. I would absolutely try that. I would be delighted to try that. Dark and delicious. I lived for JC's calls back in the day. Ah, there we go. Melody. Oh, so Melody remembers JC. Okay. Oh, Melody is an old school Art Bell yep. follower. Yeah. Melody Kate knows all about yep. Art Bell. Yeah. And then uh, we got Seanic Shroom. Uh, I would love to see JC versus Joe Rogan. Yeah. So I don't think Joe would have the patience that uh, Art did to just let him go on and on. He would have to. Uh, Joe would, would no. Joe to, would want to ask him po himself. ask yeah. him probing questions. Yeah, uh, or we just, just make to, fun of him and shut him down. Art just wants to give him a rope. Like yeah. I want to Art see you hang yourself. Him, like every minute you're doing this, because mm -hmm. Joe Rogan's doing it. I can't. I don't know how. Long, I think Joe Rogan's podcast is weekly, although I don't actually know. Yeah, I don't we're showing our ignorance here. He's definitely not doing it daily, which is what Art uh, and not doing. four hours a day for sure. Right. So That's yeah, exactly Art had it. time to fill. So, you're right. Yeah, Art would be doing. We were happy to let everybody yep. carry on. Yeah. Eddie Dean for $10. Quick contribution to Dave's infamous graphic tea collection. Well, Eddie, we appreciate it. And I'm going to earmark that. <laughs> Put it towards. Yeah. Uh, and then we got you carrying on Jeremiah Coleman. Paul. Did you know Jeremiah Coleman has been a member of your channel for nine months? That's almost a year. Wow, you could have had a baby in that time. You've never once had Jeremiah over for dinner. I have. To. What, Sorry, is, what does his channel membership even get you? I don't mm. know. I don't know how to. I don't know what to make of this. What do you? What do you? But uh, he he writes uh, Dave Ogia. Dave Ogia. I, I I get it now. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Uh, Shannon Q. Mm. <laughs> Shannon mm. Q is contributing $2 I, uh, towards Dave's Spice Girls tea fund. So, I mean, I'll which, be honest. Uh, I'll track which, this. Which, if this happens, if people if people donate enough for me to buy a Spice Girls graphic tea, I will buy a Spice Girls graphic which, tea. Which Spice Girl it. are you, would you say? Um, my, so. I only know one. I only there's a sporty spice and ultimately I don't know the No, not sporty. So I had a bit of a flame 
for posh and, okay. and baby spice. I one of those two. Yeah. I'm not saying which Would one be. you which one you wanted to, you know, date. I was which oh, one which are one you? Am I? Which, one, which one am I closest to? Probably scary spice. I mean oh, okay. Yeah. I don't know any of them. I don't know what any of them yeah. are. I don't know why you even yeah. brought this up. You have no fucking idea what you're talking about. Nope. But I know that was a thing that people would ask each other. That was a thing. Everybody, I'm dating myself right here yep. in chat. Yep. All right, we're uh, we're gonna back to back to JC for a few minutes, and then we'll get some more Dickens. Or do we want to do we want to do another? Uh, do you want to play our? Fun or you want to go right to the Dickens? Oh, let's uh, let's uh, let's play our our new hit game show, Spice Girls. TV. I'm on board, Shannon. I'm not against it. <laughs> Is this a comment from Apologia? video on youtube comment on youtube or a review from goodreads from the charles dickens classic a christmas carol okay okay all right paul if if you think it's apologia some people have come come later um no slj i would not wear a spice girls crop top because youtube has standards and i'm afraid i would get paul demonetized yeah um Okay, so if you think this is a comment from Apologia YouTube video, comment P in chat. If you think this is a Charles Dickens review, put D. So it's P or D, Paul or Dave. All right. Are you ready? I'm ready. Sign up for Jesus in the Dead Sea Scrolls course. HTTP www.tinyurl.com slash tabor DSS. Do you think that is a comment on the Paul <laughs> Gia video or a Charles Dickens book review? I do not I mean, it think could that, be that I could do, be anything. I, I, I do not think that this is a Charles Dickens. <laughs> Paul, because don't, don't give it away. People are voting. <laughs> because I do not think that Charles Dickens was still alive when they discovered the Dead Sea Scrolls. <laughs> Paul, you're ruining the game. <laughs> Okay, I'll give another one. A real one. All right. Real one. What do you mean a real one? That was a real one. <laughs> no. That was one of those two categories. All right. I suppose. I do sign up for that. Frankly, that's a great course. So do sign up for that one. <laughs> and once again, that uh, that URL is <laughs> http colon slash slash www.tinyurl.com slash tabord capital T A B O R capital D capital S capital s the capitals don't matter dss standing for dead sea scrolls yeah dead sea scrolls tabor dss you're gonna learn some it is a great course very engaging he's a a wonderful teacher also kip davis has a course so yeah who the fuck cares about yeah whatever (laughs) it's right in our comments right now you're wonderful kip i sincerely (laughs) hope i meet you sometime we have a beer together you're gonna get a hug just so you know all right so here's a real one are you ready, Paul? Yeah, I'm ready. This is so lame. Dot, dot, dot. You try to what? Question mark? That is the entire review. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the thing. Yep. I feel like that's probably mine, but I would love for this to be a Dickens. <laughs> you, you try to what? Because <laughs> there would be no... There'd be no context whatsoever yeah. versus this might be a, you know, a polemic against one of my titles. This might be a railing against I, the, the chat is very mixed. We got, we got a lot of, yeah. a lot of P and a lot I mean, of D. I'm going to be honest for something like this, this one could go either way. This is kind of, so a I'm going to go with mine. I'm going to go with Apologia. Yeah. I think it's Apologia. That is, in fact, a apology. I should have, All made, right. note of, I should have made note of which, because uh, I just kind of rapidly scanned through your videos and uh, mm. and pulled some comments that caught my eye. If we play this yeah. again, yeah, um, and I and we will, just we will, we are trying to figure out a way up. that I can let you, like YouTube, lets me search for like key phrases in my comments, like I can actually search my comments for things. Well, well, I mean, I'm gathering these up, so like I could. I could uh, get like the URL of the actual. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Cause you can like, you can highlight comments and stuff. Right. So I can, uh, uh, no, yes, Kip David, Kip. these are not Amazon reviews. Oh, no, not Amazon. These They're are, good reads. These are good reads reviews. Um, because I found they were funnier than the Amazon ones. So <laughs> I stuck to a lot of good reads ones. Yeah. All right. 
Well, that's a fun game. I enjoy this game. See? So let us know uh, in comments later, because I'm not going to notice in the chat. Uh, you know, if there's ways... There's other things we could do. Like, we could have made them polls. We could have done certain things. I'm going to talk you into my original idea eventually. All right. It's going to happen. Back to JC. <laughs> You can't even imagine what they told me in the Kremlin. See now? You, you can't imagine it, sir. speak to me in a rational way because every time I just put you down and make you look a fool. Every time. I have secrets that you can't imagine in your worst nightmare. You have to resort to that because you are afraid my arguments are like, like razors. They cut your arguments apart. Slither me. Cut you me. You can't mask me intellectually. <laughs> This is so good. This is so good. Oh I feel like you just need to pause there as well, just so that we're still in fair yeah. use territory. But this is, I'm just enjoying. So you have to play around uh, with your little radio toys uh, and sell our secrets to the commies. Yes. Sell our, if you like it so much over there, why don't you just stay? Well, I thought about it. That's it. That's it. We got to go. <laughs> Too bad. I would have enjoyed spending more time with. Uh, the guy who thinks I'm the devil's toe jam. This is CBC. Back in a moment. West of the Rockies, you're on the air. Hello. Hey, so oh, it's our man. When you're, uh, uh, you're gonna get, uh, you're gonna get demonetized if you let uh, seconds of. Oh well, I did. So I, I didn't go through and, and scrub the music on this one. Mm. I, I was lazy. So we'll see how yeah. it goes. Oh. Yes. Yes, I, I have to take it. Call toll free 1 800 618 8255. Shannon, there well, is no. Well, first of all, I'm not going to allow you to use. I mean, maybe somewhere. I'm all, I'm all for it. If enough people throw in money to the Dave Wear a Spice Girls t shirt fund, and it's honestly not that much. T graphic t shirts aren't that expensive. We, we could get there pretty easily. And then I will, I'll wear a, a graphic t You know what? I'll make this promise to chat as well. I will let Shannon Q pick the Spice Girls t-shirt design that I am going wow. to wear. Yep. So, but, oh, but not the fuck. size. Dave, spec Dave <laughs> specifies the size. No, I, I will specify the size and it will <laughs> yeah. not be a, a crop top. So yeah, exactly. let's all just get that out of your head right away, you <laughs> pervert. And then immediately... We've I, uh, I regret this decision. Yeah. In the flurry of our uh, of our game, we missed some super chats. We missed some super chats. Yeah. Mike MC five dollars writes to the no coffee table fund. We appreciate. I think I can probably get not a coffee table for five dollars. It's abs absolutely coffee tables are old news. We're on to Spice Girls now, man. Mm. <laughs> well, Timothy Harmon's on the, on that train. Yeah. yeah. Ten dollars. So not a, he's not alone <laughs> for the for the Spice Girls tea. Yeah. T Public uh -oh. has eight pages of Spice Girls tees, 30% off. I will also say for, for anyone interested, this shirt right here came from T Public. I highly recommend T Public. I've had wonderful experiences with them. They're a fantastic company to buy graphic tees from. Not even getting paid for this. I'm just plugging them because I bought a lot of good t shirts from T Public and they're a good company to deal with. And I've had issues and they went out of their way to help me out. They're they're very nice, good company. Maybe they would actually pay for their sponsorships. You would think so, right? Maybe I should reach out to them. <laughs> Maybe you should. Like, yeah, yeah. I wear your fucking t-shirts every show. <laughs> we have an audience of literally dozens. You That's should. Right. You should be paying us. Uh, oh, Jay Victor. Oh, oh my God! Super chats left, right, and center. Would Dave be up for a Dune themed Spice Girls t-shirt? I feel. Is that did we miss? Oh yeah. I mean, I would. If you can make that happen. <laughs> uh, we have oh oh shoot, it jumped by me here. Uh, we got this one, Melody Kate, Spice Girl T for Dave. Oh, I missed. Oh, you missed like like brain. Yeah, no, I got the uh, hold on. Jeremiah Coleman, we got you, Timothy Harmon. There we go for the note for the uh, anyone watching the uh, the toasted coconut black lager is actually uh, quite delightful. Timothy Harmon, T Public has eight pages of Spice Girls tees, thirty percent off. There we go. Yep. Brain cramp for ten dollars. Thank you, brain cramp. 
I'm going to make you, Shannon man. help buy Dave I mean, a Spice Girls t-shirt. So I think kind of I, thank you. I think I yeah. saw out of the corner of my eye there that Shannon has some kind of matching grant going on right now. <laughs> is that is she matching dollar for yeah, dollar? Yeah, I think there's a, some kind of matching grant for Spice Girls t-shirts. Oh, yeah. awesome. Okay, yeah. good. Thanks, thanks, Shannon. Cool. Uh Vishanti sends the the art bell head demonically. Ooh, hold me, thrill me, kiss me, kill me. For bonus points. Can anybody in chat quickly, quickly now without Googling it, tell me what the Weird Al parody of that U2 song is? Uh, I know what it was about. Mm -hmm. uh, it was about dentistry. Yeah. And it You're was drill me. me. It was something. It was drill me. I, 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 one of the thriller, it was drill me. So I forget how the rest of it went. Uh, it was um, numb me, drill me, floss me, bill me. There we go. I believe. Oh, very right? good. Yes. Yeah. Very yeah. good. Yeah. Uh, Jeremiah gonna, Coleman really sends a super chat. That. Sorry, I'm going to throw this out there because do it. So I saw an interview with Weird Al once. We were talking about that song where he was like, he, you know, it's like the the trailer came out and the the Batman movie. He's like, oh, this is going to be good, and he's like, he contacted you two, and he's like, hey, is it all right if I do a parody of your song? Yep. The dentistry one, and then the Batman movie. Was kind of a flop because I think that was the uh, that was the fro that was the Mr. Yeah. Freeze terrible one. Yeah. And so I was like, oh, whatever. And then like four months later, apparently like a representative Bono got in touch with him, like, oh man, we can't wait to hear your version of oh, the song. Oh shoot! And he's like, oh, um, <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be any week now. <laughs> he was so, kind of like, uh, this didn't go. His movie went nowhere. So weird like, out out of obligation to Bono. Yeah. Yeah, out did of the, obligation to you too, and the edge. To be know. fair, uh, the song actually did do well. The song was a, was a reasonably charting, you know, and is much it like is uh, Seal's "Kiss from a Rose" did much better yeah. than the movie. Although that, the other, yeah, yes, the other Batman movie. Yeah. So, um, Jeremiah oh, right. Coleman um, sent me yes. a super chat to read your super chats. <laughs> also, <laughs> Spice Girls tank top. You know, Jeremiah, we're we're busy. We got a lot going on here. But <laughs> it's a busy night. That's the celebrate. That's Jeremiah's third super chat exactly. on the stream. And I feel like the first two were both <laughs> on this stream, which I pre because Paul. Yes, Dave. We're the only stream on YouTube. We are the only stream on YouTube right now. Yeah. Fuck you, Dapper Dino. Uh Melody Kate for with five dollars mm -hmm. for a Spice Girl tea for Dave. Thank you, Melody. Oh, Jesus. We're gonna have to actually I'm gonna have to sit down and figure this out because I'm pretty sure <laughs> this is a great suggestion. I don't know if this is a real tea. thing. Uh, Melly for two dollars says <laughs> Dave could be whiskey, <laughs> whiskey spice. I mean, you can get you can make your own custom teas. That's the I thing, think. Uh, I think someone spice. needs to do yeah. some fan art of whiskey spice. <laughs> yeah, Dave. Hashtag hashtag whiskey spice on yep. Twitter. Yep. Or act whatever. Uh, Eddie yeah. Dean, what right? You you anticipated Eddie Dean super chat hashtag Spice Girls Tea Fund. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna. Okay. All yeah. Right. This is gonna well. apparently happen. Just so everybody knows, it takes like four to six weeks to get mm. the custom tea. So it's like this isn't going to happen next week. But I feel like this is I got a. We might have to. So you're saying we might have to that. settle for off the shelf Spice Girls teas? No, 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 no. Oh no, Paul! I don't settle for off the shelf anything. Mm. This <laughs> temple. <laughs> this this temple cannot be adorned. Yeah. No, I'm just saying, people. It's going to be three or four toast to toast episodes, possibly All right. before. But the governor, I'm a man of my word. I'm a man of my word. The governor for no, two dollars no. writes uh, hashtag not posh spice, please. So yeah. Well, I mean, we'll see. We'll late, see. Though. Uh, SJL, uh, regular mm -hmm. here. SJL, appreciate you. Uh, mm -hmm. Would a Spice Girls Bohemian Rhapsody shirt be funny or sacrilege? Dave, I suggested the crop top because it would be yeah. horrifying if I wore one. I mean, it would be horrifying if I wore one, too. That's, you know, real talk time. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, oh, poor Claire. Oh, poor oh, Claire. I'm so sorry. We j just got here. Why are we trying to make Dave wear a Spice Girl shirt? Put this in that fund or the coffee table fund. Appreciate well, poor you. Claire. Unlike the coffee table fund, this one's actually going to happen. So <laughs> we'll we'll put that we'll put that in the Dave Spice Girl t-shirt fund. Poor Claire, if you just got here, this is a magical night. 
We it have is. Is really good we have Apologia versus Charles Dickens mm -hmm. going on. Uh, in <laughs> we're doing the best we can, Jeremiah. This is fucking free. You know what? <laughs> Just let's let's all take the sass out of it. It takes four to six weeks for Toast to Toast to do another episode. Mm. And then uh, also we have JC a JC call in compilation that's that's delicious. Yes, Jonathan Christian Webster the. <laughs> Jonathan Christian Webster the Third, God's Ten Star General. The name Art doesn't want you to know. Art doesn't, yeah, the art, the name Art doesn't want you to know. So I don't know if we're going to get there tonight, but at some point he does declare himself God's Ten Star General, which is why I put that on the thumbnail. Well, I mean, I feel like we're going to get there tonight, yeah. Paul. I believe in it. <laughs> so far, so we far, Dave. A, we haven't we, done a show for like six weeks. We need we we owe the people the people we owe the people, the people. we owe the people. Yeah, I'm just saying. The the this is a six-hour compilation, and we've done six minutes. So, well, hopefully, it happens pretty quick. Because All right, way we're getting through. And we, uh, we have a super, super chat. Chats. Yeah, the uh, stoke never off the rack. Dave's salt and pepper spice. Oh, I mean, I like that. <laughs> I'm, I'm. We're gonna have to show Paul what's better in chat: salt and pepper spice, or whiskey spice. Hmm. Or, you know, there's there's a, there's a little more salt than pepper these days. It's getting... <laughs> what are you going to do? Is that word? Well, uh, no. you're, you're going to have to rephrase it. If you want to say uh, the way I have come to the defense of the gays, you may I'll, say that. I will call them homosexual. All right, that's fine. Because now, see, <laughs> you're defending them again. Okay, so they must have bleeped out. <laughs> Coming to the defense of the gays, Paul. Uh, oh boy. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Saying that our go constitution wrong, grants them a right under the constitution, forged under the from the hand of guiding hand of God, our Lord, who forged this constitution. They and, do have rights under the constitution. They have no right. God wrote the constitution, you, Dave. You know what God thinks? That blacks are worth three fifths <laughs> of a white. <laughs> When it comes to voting, that's what God Almighty Himself <laughs> wrote in the Constitution of His Promised Land, America. They are, as far as I'm concerned, we should not be married and we should be gassing them. They, they, God destroys homosexuals. He hates them. How can you defend any kind of right for them to do to, to anything? Well, uh, oh, going going with what oh, you have just suggested. Well, now, hold on a moment. Maybe I should have previewed this a little better. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm getting you demonetized. Oh. No, it's not you. It's uh, JC here. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What are you I laughing mean, at? Like in a way, it's funny, but in a way, it's also horrifying because this is like legitimately right. so real in, in the mid nineties, the real world. Yeah, in the mid nineties, like 90s. we're laughing now because his ideas are like clearly I, absurd and terrible. Yeah, uh, in the uh, mid nineties, this would have rang true, and probably you know what? I shouldn't overestimate people. This probably yeah. rings true with some people now. Absolutely, fucking lutely. That's yeah. what, the nineties. What are you talking about? Like, pick your decade. Literally any decade from yeah. human history. This is this is dude. Find this. This is right there. Yeah. You are confusing God's job as you see it with yeah. yours. Yeah. We are charged with God's work. We should not be putting up with this. They are a destroyer of the family. This is the devil's attempt, and this is another example of how you are the devil's mouthpiece. Giving, giving propaganda for the devil, saying that our constitution, which was forged by the very hand of the Lord, not, I am not don't, the devil's you, you see, you cannot, you, you have to resort to your little radio tricks because you cannot withstand oh. the might of my well, right argument. Birthday to Blake for me, Shannon, tomorrow, and you know, have a good time. She's leaving to get ready. 
And, 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 and as far as I'm concerned, we are charged with the destruction of these vile creatures who are, who are lower on the scale, who God hates even more than those who bear the mark of pain. He hates them, and we must not put up with this in our society. And God, they want to destroy the family and marriage. God and does not hate you. Hate you. Hate you're so full of hate that you Sir, you dribble with hate. And 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 and, and, and you. You, you dribble hate. Do you hear me? You dribble with hate. The, the proper term of what they should be called. They should not be referred to in a in a friendly, less less disgusting term. You know that these are disgusting people who just want to destroy our country, and you are right there, gladly helping them. And and and, and you owe me money as well because. Because the other night I was trying to get through and I became so frustrated that I broke my phone. Well, <laughs> you, you owe me money. You because me when money. I tried to call in, I was so angry. I broke my phone. I I broke my phone. I would love to see that that court case. That because... give me five hundred dollars. <laughs> so. The oh. most you there was no five hundred dollar phone in nineteen ninety six. No, I was thinking of the Friends episode when Joey needed his fridge. Oh, right. <laughs> I was Joey, waiting. I'm charging you. You know, I was waiting to see. I was going to let you go this time just to see if you had a heart attack. What do you mean? I'm not going to. I am not going to have a heart attack. I mean, if they're real. I mean, spewing all of this hate, spewing all of this hatred you have. I, I've got to wonder if one of these nights you're not just going to wind yourself into a, a seizure. Or a blood vessel is going to burst in your little in your little head, and you're going to fall down dead. I have love, and and the Lord. I I, I have love. <laughs> I have love, just like it says in the Bible. But also, God hates the gays, and we should gas them. <laughs> oh, to be oh clear, that God. is not the position of toast the toast. Less you it's know not anyone. The toast the toast. To be fair, it's not even the position of. You know, no. like the New Testament. Nope. <laughs> That's the. Oh. Also, I'm not sure the Old Testament even specified gassing anyone. I just no. That's not also, a, no. I don't think the Old Testament ever really says God hates no. anybody. They're just he's always he's always more disappointed than mm -hmm. just like wish you'd made better choices. You know. Yeah, it's more of the way I get angry. That's right. Yeah. Uh, Doctor Don Hogg. Xenobiologist at large writes clearly the voice of someone who doesn't wipe the poop because that yeah. would be gay. That's why that's bum mm. stuff. Mm. Except, um, what what do they call the what do they call the new fandangled uh, the, the the toilet fountains? What are we the, the bidets? The bidets that what you're talking about? The bidets. Either, those are either either new nor I feel like I feel like that this guy JC would think the bidets are gay as well. I'm thinking mm -hmm. so. Oh, I guarantee it. Yeah. yeah. They charged me with, with clamping down because I am seeing my country being destroyed. Does God tell you what to do? No. Does God tell you what to do? I have communications with the Lord, yes. Directly. Direct, yes, I do. And so, so God, you are God's agent, and you... need a new revelation, and I am a, new a, a revelation. of the new revelation. Oh. The new revelation. Oh. Well, now we're now we're getting into now we're getting new, somewhere. Now we got new, new, revelation. new revelation from God. Yeah. We've moved to, to JC just, from just uh, you know, yeah, fundamentalist to no, no, no. I mm. have a new revelation from God. Yeah, that is correct, and that we will create a new world, not a new world order, mind you, because and, and the way you are are comporting with your Canadian friends. Who are are clearly an arm of the English, and you see, I have, I know. Sorry, <laughs> cohorting the way you're cohorting with those Canadian friends. Yeah, who are clearly an arm of the English. I mean, okay. Right. So yeah. we we were we were separated in '84 with the sign of a pen. We didn't know yes. thought anything. Yep. But mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. What, what they are planning to do. What do you think, what do you think they're going to do? The Canadian aggression is fairly obvious. Canadian aggression? Yes, because when in conjunction with Mexico and Spain, who consider... Because they lost these territories in the early formations oh of the year, God. they are plotting to get them back from us. The, the French... 
in conjunction with Mexico and Spain. <laughs> in association with Mexico and Spain. Yeah, who are on wonderful terms. And clearly we're, uh, we're upset. Long. Yeah. We're upset that we lost something to somebody. Yeah, you know who Canada's <laughs> like this with Mexico and Spain mm. that we can't get enough of. Yeah. Uh, uh, yes, uh, Savage Cobra, I, be I believe that JC may agree with you that his yeah. connection to the bidets are French and therefore, therefore gay. Yep. Yeah. Our French were gay, gayer than a French horn. And he doesn't. He doesn't mean that in a complimentary way that I do. No, no. Which is sad. Mm -hmm. He doesn't uh, mean like festive and fun. He doesn't. Bright no. colors. You know. Hey. Yeah. Uh, the chat is telling me that it's Stephen Latrell's tenth super chat on a live stream. Well, hot diggity damn, Stephen! Congratulations, Luttrell. Stephen. Lucky I think JC is, right is a here. church of the subgenus prank, subgenus prankster. <laughs> prankster. Uh, Appreciate you, Stephen. That is accurate. That is accurate, Melly. That is what Canadian aggression is. <laughs> yes, this is exactly. Yes, Melly. Although, Canadian aggression is not apologizing about his own. That or, that honestly, that would that wouldn't fly around here. That wouldn't fly. Or pulling some shirt or jersey over their face so they can't see. And then just starting to punch them in the <laughs> face as fast and as hard as you can. Canadian aggression is kind of, we have like a, a zero to 10 scale. There's really the two to nine we have no time for. No. It's either apologizing because you stepped on my foot and I'm sorry about that to no, I guess now I'm going to try and knock three your teeth out. But, uh, uh but yeah. that later, that latter one is because you're on a skating rink. If you're wearing skates, it's a whole different or be, thing. Or, you know, in an alley behind a bar. Mm. Look, there are some things. There's some things. And, yeah. And not every Canadian fight happens on the hockey rink. Let's, what are you going to do? Jay Victor, thank you so much for the super chat. To be fair, JC, your money does sport the likeness of the Queen of England. By the way, did they replace it with Charles? That is an ongoing debate in our country, which is uh, hot. Although our passports, I just got a brand new passport, and it, my passport does say it, the His Majesty the King Charles. Mm. So that's how you know it's a brand new. I I actually did not know that we were actively uh, debating a switch. In there the is an active debate whether or not Charles is going to be featured on our money, or if we just move away from the English monarchy. I feel like, um, in, you know, like the the Charles will be featured on our money uh, in the near future. You yeah. think that he will? I mean, I he think has, that he will. He has prostate cancer by the time that the Canadian mint gets around to this. That's true. We might already be on to. We might be I on to Harry by the time uh, to, an English monarch will be featured on our money. Okay, yeah, um, that's a well, that's a better be, bet. I and would to say. be fair, I, I say an English monarch, but it's, it's the Canadian monarch. The Canadian monarch is not necessarily the English monarch. They just happen to be the same person at the current time, but they don't have to be. So, like the. Current King of Canada is Charles the Third, but the King of Canada doesn't have to be the English king. That's just what the current dynasty and blah blah blah. And I could get into a whole thing. Anyways, he is our current king. He's not the King of Canada just because he's the King of England, but that is the way that it works out. Monarchy's mm -hmm. weird. And the and Germans and the English all the the of America. I mean, that's one of those cases uh -oh. that just, you know, you get Did I say the uh, wrong I, Oh, I, good I thing Shannon like went to bed. Be... Apparently, I said yeah. I said the wrong uh, William. Yeah, yeah, William's the William's the next uh, king. He's the yes. Yeah, I William said I did the... say Harry. I said the wrong. Totally said the wrong name. You said the wrong one. No, he is not. So Harry's not going to be nothing. If you're uh, if you're doing your if you're working on a report for school, don't take what we're saying. <laughs> if you're working on a report from school, I fucking hope you're not watching this. <laughs> Do something better with your time. Be be better. Yeah. They are cavorting with the Russians to take away our sovereignty as a nation through the New World Order, through the United Nations, because they want this land back. How about that, that land grab that Clinton just did? All right, well, that's it. That's it. That's all I can handle. <laughs> I really thought he might work himself up into an event here on the air. One of these nights, I think he's going to. Turn down my radio because I have a few comments about your show tonight. Oh, this, next, this is the next call. And I We're already into the next one. I think we, we need to do. Uh, we need to do, we a do little another bit of a... another uh, oh. question from the um, yep. the new hit, the new hit game show. 
everyone's favorite game show. Everyone's favorite game. Is this a comment from Apology of Video? A comment from Apology of YouTube Video? Or a review of the Charles Dickens classic novel, A Christmas Carol, from Goodreads? Uh, and it follows. Wait, this is on Blu-ray? Exclamation mark, exclamation mark, question mark, question mark. Wow. Exclamation mark. <laughs> I am torn. I am torn on this. Yeah. Uh, because that absolutely could be Charles Dickens. Yeah. It absolutely could be. However, I have discussed... Uh, <laughs> I have discussed certain creationist movies that have gone on to Blu-ray. Again, vote P if you think this is Apologia YouTube comment, or D if you think this is a Charles Oh, Dickens boy, the movie. chat seems to be going with Dickens. Cats going with Dickens. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm going counter to the chat. I'm Again. going. Uh, this is. I'm going with Apologia. Wait. Wait, this is on Blu-ray. Exclamation mark! Exclamation mark! Question mark! Question mark! Wow! All caps. Two exclamation marks. Okay. That is in fact a comment from Apologia. Hey, there you go. Hey, there you go. Yeah. I got it. Whoop. All right. So here, I if if I remember correctly, and I may not be correct because yes. I'm not always correct. I think this is they're going to be the call now, where Art invites him just to stay on, just stay on, just hang out with me, and, and hang we got out. A couple, we got a couple super chats. Should we? Oh, uh, we got a couple super chats. Oh my goodness, a couple super chats. We got Doctor Don Hogg, xenobiologist at large. You're, Are you, you familiar with this? Romana uh, Dudulo, Queen of Canada, on new Canuck Bucks. Canuck Bucks. Do you know? Are you familiar with this situation? No, I have Paul? no idea. Do you know what he's talking about? Yeah, I do. Uh, so this is actually a big deal over here. So there's this crazy ass woman who is uh, is big into QAnon and much stuff. As said, she's the legitimate Queen of Canada. Has um, a large group of followers was recently in small town Saskatchewan, basically moved into this town and took over an abandoned elementary school and was in there. And all of these um, sort of followers of her who were like, the government's not a legitimate government. She's the legitimate queen of Canada. Uh, we're in this town and people were, so they kind of move around and go around and everyone's like, get the F out of our town. Uh, they're all like it's kind of ties into uh, if if anyone here is familiar with the sovereign citizen. Uh, oh, that kind of oh, she's like, one of those. All she's right. one of those kind of people, right? Where it's like has whatever thing where I'm a legitimate ruler and is somehow convicted, convinced uh, a number of um, vulnerable people that she's correct. And there's been dust ups between her followers and like sort of the people in small towns and. It's it's uh, and the RCMP is kind of like they're not actually doing anything illegal, so we can't really do anything about this. And every time this encamp, this moving camp of a hundred some people moves to another town, people just kind of have to live with it. It's it's this whole thing, and she's it's just like the most crazy ass QAnon conspiracy. Things like just the fringe of the fringe is what her her camp is is made up of. So yeah, so she's been in your neck of the woods. Yeah, she's been in my neck of the woods. It's one of those things where it's like it's funny when you look, but it's like, but it's not so funny when 150 of these people like roll up to your you know gas station or whatever and are all of a sudden loudly demanding like they don't have to pay mm. these taxes on this gas. And you're like, look, dude, like this is just the price of the gas buy it or not right right but, right right but you already pumped all the gas and now you're like i don't have to pay all this because of blah 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 you know whatever thing i'm pulling from some treaty from 1746 yeah mm. i actually i do now vaguely recall this but i hadn't you gave me more detail than i had for sure i vaguely yeah, yeah. so this all is right. an ongoing situation that is not resolved and i don't know what the resolution is going to be fair enough, i think the government's just kind of hoping uh, it's not a young person. They're like, this, she just dies or whatever. Mm. And, and this all just goes away and we can, we can just not. That is actually, that is yeah. a very Canadian way to handle a thing. It's yeah. like, 
When will this go away? Yeah, well, sooner or later this person Like, not necessarily, like, we're not yeah, hoping for it. death for anybody, but a lot of times, yeah. you just, yeah, if we wait, will this go away? Yeah. Will this go away? Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully some other government down the road will have to deal with this. <laughs> yeah. I kind of don't have to. They're just in small town Saskatchewan, Alberta, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Hey, Ben Murphy. Quoted, super chatted, kind of real money, Australian dollars. I'm just kidding. Ben, you're fantastic. Australia only had Liz on the $5 note, and we're replacing her with a First Nations design. Well, there you go. But I, I didn't Australia leave the Commonwealth? I feel like that's a thing that happened, didn't it? Or am mm. I grossly wrong? Are people going to... I don't think that's thing? correct. Not the Commonwealth. So, so like... Or they, they're no longer, like, Elizabeth or the British, like, they no longer have a monarchy. Yeah, because, like... Um... Yeah, because when my daughter visited there last, and for yeah. for an extended period, they were definitely still calling themselves part because she had, definitely had an easier time getting in than the American, um, because it was a Commonwealth country still. Yeah, and that was just. A few I know years there ago. was a there was definitely a movement within Australia to kind they, of like, like they they may they can reject the monarchy and still be part yeah. of the Commonwealth. I think and become a a, a true on republic. Well, I actually don't know if you can. I oh. think that's kind of part of the call. Oh, is that part of the deal? Yeah. Well, again, don't do your do your report off of what we're saying. No, I know that wasn't a big in Australia. Uh, is that what? So uh, Australia is a founding member of the Commonwealth, an active member. So according to this they, random they Google, are. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Wikipedia says they are, so you know we're good. There you go. Ben Murphy would know better than us whether it is, it is. That's true. They still have a monarchy. Let's in, ask uh, a couple Canadians what they, what yeah. they know. Yeah. <laughs> it's got a bunch of Canadians what they know about the Australian yep. government system. Yeah. All right. So we mm. did our, let's get back to, uh, I want to, I want to hear JC take calls. You want to hear JC take calls? Unless do you want to hear yeah, one God, more. Totally. No, we're going to save that because you don't have that many left. I'm going to save it. Okay. Because we're in for the long haul tonight, Dave. We're in for the long haul, buddy. You and me. Over the line tonight. You have gone over the line. I am disgusted with the hear that this woman is fornicating with, with, with who is the devil. It's not. It's, if, 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 if it's anything, it's a demon coming to her in the middle of the night. But it's what she wants. It's what she wants. And I know this because of the perverted act that is done not only to women but to men. And God has revealed to me in the new revelation that now in the end times that demons will descend upon our women and men and, and in the night and, and do horrible things to them. And you are promoting this. How can you how can you sit there and allow this to go on the airways of our nation? This is this is this is why I am totally against you and you have gone too far tonight, and your programs have like, have just gone over the edge. I you are too far. To you. I knew it would get to you. You, you now you wait, wait a minute. I suspect, Dave. I don't, I don't know if you're familiar with the. I think I've mentioned it even on this show before. There mm -hmm. is a small sub movement in the Christian yeah. movement that believes that alien abduction stories are absolutely real. Oh but yeah. That they are, but they are in fact being abducted by demons. And the demons right. are manifesting, you know, as the gray skin. Yeah. Uh, so Wait, which that's not new. That's that's been around for. for yeah, yeah. Time. So I I just suspect that uh, JC may well. It sounds like perhaps he's reacting to. Again, if you're just joining us, this is a compilation of JC calls over multiple shows, and unfortunately, we don't get the context of what the show is about. But I suspect it is. I'm just guessing. Yeah. Sorry, alien abduction. Bad. Scuzz Bopper threw out a reference. I made this literally exact joke today with a different thing. Art supporting the Springfield slash perverted arts bill. I use that line all I the time. I love that one. Yeah, that's yeah. a good one. I like to add a rider to this bill, providing $400 million in funding for the perverted arts. All in favor of the evacuation slash perverted arts bill. Uh, which is oh. still, like, it still rings true just today or yesterday. I don't know what day it is technically right now. Um, mm -hmm. In the States, they're trying to do uh, the IVF, like approving in vitro fertilization because that's a controversy now. Anyway, um, mm -hmm. 
one of the senators stood up and and it that they were against the bill because it didn't specifically um didn't specifically forbid human animal chimeras. <laughs> Oh. And it's like, wait, are there other laws on the books that forbid yeah. human animal careers? Yes, <laughs> but we also Turns need out. this bill. We need this bill to have that rider as well. So it's yeah. Oh my goodness, great. life's great. Life's great, especially in <laughs> well. I feel general. like Doctor Doctor Don Hogg is giving great advice. Yes, is it? Uh, right? Eat beaver tonight I for guess Lent. It would be. Yeah, we're less than 40 days away from Easter. That's right. They're fish, you know. I mean, they're not. I'm not, not. I'm, you know, beaver's a big deal in Canada, Don Hogg. I'm not gonna. I feel like, Dave, here. so we, Canadians don't eat beavers because they're like sacred. It's like, it's like, uh, well, and uh, it's like an Indian person eating a cow. <laughs> it's the same thing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but uh, I feel like he was trying to do some kind of entendre, Dave, here. A... Yeah. Yeah. I, I I get what I get you what's get going me. on here. You you smell it. Yep. Paul, sorry, my nose is running because I'm laughing and crying <laughs> too hard. I'm not gonna, um, you know, here on Toast to Toast, we don't pander to the lowest common denominator. I see. That's true. We don't. We're above yeah. that. We're above we're an intellectual that. show. Look, kids are coming on our show to find out for their report <laughs> for buddy. school. Think of the, whether think or of not the Australia is yeah. part of the monarchy or yeah, a common whether or not <laughs> you know we can't be just I almost a horribly inappropriate comment but we're not I'm not that drunk yet so uh about Lent and so Dave do you, do you recognize this reference mm -hmm. do you which what's, what reference are we talking the about the one on the screen one, right now uh <laughs> yes <laughs> so that's uh from the old naked gun yes yeah yeah did you hear the naked gun related news this week no i haven't heard any naked gun related news this week so they are they have they have announced that they are restarting refresh because everything and everything's just everything's yeah. getting refreshed rebooted i mean i might be a, a a bitter old man but i'm like you can't like without leslie nielsen so Leslie Just Nielsen's role. Stop that. Leslie yeah. Nielsen's role will be played by Liam Neeson. No. Just what? So they're no. they're they're refreshing. I'm I'm not saying it's a good or a bad idea, but uh <sighs> they announced this week that Liam Neeson will be playing playing uh yeah. Here we are, yeah. So there we go. Ham radio course. Yep. So they uh they've they enough they gotta they got there's no new ideas they gotta yeah, Murphy yeah I That's, agree I'm hmm anyway uh so the other thing is there hasn't been a good spoof movie no in, uh, like twenty in twenty years they kind of killed the genre with like, like the scary movies and stuff like they right they beat it to death. Um, um, I would yeah. say the last good one was like Hot Shots Part Two, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, in a way, it's not really a spoof movie, but like Hot Fuzz, kind of. Oh, is. that's it's not a spoof homage. movie. No, it's not a spoof movie, but it's just, yeah, you're right. Hot Shots Part Two is like the last. You're you're probably right. Um, yeah, like in that in that vein where it's just like we are like because then they did like the they did like the Men in Tights. And well, I mean, did... like, so all, all the scary movies came after, after Hot Shot. So you know what? I will say that. So yeah. So and, like, some the, of those. The first couple of scary movies were fine, and then the yeah, you know, you're like, right, you're right. Yeah, I was thinking in the ones in the vein of like the the yeah, McGroover. Ones... I would call McGroover a spoof a spoof movie. Yeah, well, that was it good. I did anyone see it? Well, I don't know. The, yeah. the first McGroover. It, well, there's funny parts in it. I, mm. uh, it's not as good as Hot Shots or Airplane or any of yeah or Police so, Story. Or, yeah, I have heard that Liam Neeson has done comedy before and is great in it. Uh, so what he needs to be, as you say, is a straight like what you need in that character is absolutely a straight man because it's never 
It's true. Like Liam Neeson is always dead serious. Like I, I actually think, or um, not Liam Neeson. Um, fuck, Paul, help me out. Why can't I think of his name? What's what the the, the police story guy? The Leslie airplane, Nielsen. Uh, Leslie Nielsen, right? Like he never cracks even a little bit. Like he's always dead serious. Yeah. So I actually legitimately can see Liam Neeson doing that role. Right. And doing he could well. absolutely do the deadpan. Just I'm going to stare yeah. at you. Like what the you whole just point said is to like, me you is way do these ridiculous over. things and just be deadpan absolutely drop dead this is life and death serious about it and Liam Neeson could do that and I have seen like I think he has the comedic chops but yeah I'm also just it's the same my same argument with the live action Disney yeah movie. why are we doing this <laughs> this is just utterly creatively bankrupt like why you're just pandering to here's a thing that we think will get people whatever whatever yeah. so Vishanti, two dollar super chat this yeah. is absolutely a, an amazing point tropic thunder yeah. uh tropic i was thinking about tropic thunder earlier today i don't know if i'd call tropic thunder a spoof but it's i feel a, like it's, it's in a, the same vein like what the point of that movie was to make fun of the way they make movies it is but it's not a spoof of a genre. No, you're right. No, you're, I, you're right. It's, it's not a it's spoof a movie. It's, it's not a like end up of Hollywood, the 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 Hollywood system. Right. But but it, it's not a spoof of. It's like, not a spaceballs. No. Or spaceballs or airplane or disaster or blazing movie saddles or, or something or even or scary movie or whatever. Or it's scary like, movie. Or, yeah. Right. Or yeah. Typically yeah. spoofing up a, a particular genre or a particular film. Right. Yeah. That's more spoofing. Um, if we get into like literature terms, that's more like a burlesque, which is like we're making fun of the system, this whole thing, right? I mean, that's really splitting hairs. We're getting, but yes, that Tropic Thunder, I think, was the last. Oh, has there been a comedy since then that's like is making fun of where everybody's like kind of in on the joke and where we get that this is a real world thing we're making fun of. No, because I I think shortly I mean, after Park that, does it all the fucking time. Well, uh, I mean, in I'm, terms of movies, right? Yeah, the comedy went after that shortly to Will Ferrell style comedy, right? To went to to old school, to Hangover, to yeah. Anchorman. Um, I'm trying to think of like any movie comedy that's come out in the last five years. Comedies kind of are not a thing you see in movies anymore. Well, no, I mean you see them on streaming services, but like in theaters. Well, what are the comedies that have come out in the last five years? I guess it, like in theaters. Well, there was the uh, No Hard Feelings recently. With yeah. uh, I'm just there? thinking theatrical release ones. Like I'm not. Yeah. Uh, so I haven't even seen it yet. But there was the No Hard Feelings with Jennifer Lawrence was a straight up comedy. Yeah, um, that's true. That's true. Uh, Seth Seth Rogen keeps putting out things. <laughs> Ted, there was this the Ted shows, the Ted series. But I mean, that was Ted came out twelve. Oh years no, ago. did it? Oh shoot! Like Ted, Ted's old. That's mm. like you don't really see comedies, and I I don't know if a comedy would sell well. Like there's a reason. Like no comedies. Theater, com theater when a comedy is down. actually funny, yeah, there's funny comedies that are like on Netflix, on Apple TV, on right. Yeah, you know, what they right. right. I guess they're trying to boost. Oh right, Black okay. Dynamite. You're absolutely right. Black Dynamite is one of the greatest spoofs of all mm. time. I fucking love Black Dynamite. Yeah, we're missing various super chat. Yeah, oh, uh, we have this one. You read yeah. this one. Uh, not counting the Daily Wire's Lady Ballers, I haven't seen it. Sadly, doesn't Sadly, sound funny. Doesn't sound funny. Daily Wire just funny. makes me make me think maybe it isn't good. Isn't good. Uh, oh, Walk Hard. Right, that was a that was an attempt at least. Well, and but Walk Hard was like I mean I love Walk Hard. I own the Blu-ray. Oh, okay. But Walk Hard is got to be 15 years old yeah i have to google it i but yeah that that was a, a spoof and a, i think it's fine and the blu-ray or dvd is great the special features are 
as good as the movie. Oh, are they? They made a whole bunch of. There's like this entire fake, um, like talk show they make with John Hodgman as the host, interviewing oh. like in real like so the people that were in this real documentary walk hard, and he's talking about Dewey Cox's life after it's, it's it's fantastic. Also, I'm a big John Hodgman fan, but like yeah, the special features. On yeah, the anything with John Hodgman, like, I'm sold for sure. They they went out and they're like, let's do forty minutes of special features that are like pretending this is a real documentary about a real country and western singer, and we're just gonna keep going with that and just keep <laughs> making special features and interviews with the cast and all this thing as if this was real, and the you know the the the, the director and everything is like as if this was a real documentary of this real guy Dewey Cox. It's I highly recommend anybody check out the special features on the Walk Hard movie they're they're tremendous austin powers was one we're sure yeah yeah uh god's not dead was a great spoof brain cramp well uh by spoof you mean straw man that's what you mean but (laughs) (laughs) hey let's not get that hey thomas pickett paul had a ten dollar super chat yep what ruined it it was the movies that didn't get spoof and thought it was just a reference. The movie that had Hugh Jackman with balls on his chin, movie 43, those movies. You're exactly right, Tom. Like the people that just were like, there were a lot of movies, scary movie got to this, movie 43, that like where it's like, hey, cultural reference. And just throw it out there. But it's like, there's no joke attached to it. Just, it's like a, family guy episode just like hey remember this thing it's like yeah i remember that thing yeah that's the end of it like snl had the bit with chris farley when you remember he used to do his movie thing like mm-hmm. hey you remember when and yeah was this, and like movies actually became that yeah. right yeah yeah uh vishanti uh, has a two dollar super chat well we missed Dave. one by thomas pickett Oh, you had that one. Sorry, check out Black Dynamite. Last good spoof. Yes. Oh, I sorry. I did. Uh, we did have that one, but I yeah. So yeah, yeah. check out the Black Dynamite. Black Dynamite is fucking amazing. Thomas Pickett. Highly recommend anybody who wants to check it out. But then Vishanti. Comic Thunder, three. I believe TC is. That that's fair. That is fair. That is actually legitimately fair. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I will. I will uh, concede. <laughs> does. Yeah. All right. Well, that was a quite a tangent. Oh, apparently we're not done. Well, we're not even remotely done yet. <laughs> Jay Victor, Walk Hard is a relatively competent biopic spoof. I think it's more than relatively com. I, I think Walk Hard is a fantastic movie on a number of fronts. Yeah. Did you call it biopic? He uh, well, Jay Victor did. No, it's biopic. It's bi- I didn't biopic. 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 No, it's. I'm looking at that word, Paul. It's clearly biopic. It's like if you have robot arms, <laughs> you're biopic. Is that how that works? I think you are myopic. <laughs> Is that like Cyclops from X Men? He's biopic. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Um. Uh... And I think we're now to. To the ham, they were brain cramp. Oh, you already read that one. That was not yep. dead. It was a great spoof. Yeah. Uh, and then ham radio crash course super chat is five dollars. Paul, Paul, ham radio yes. crash course gave us five dollars out of the mm-hmm. goodness of their heart, just so we would read. Totally out of pocket question. Did any of you play Prey? Question mark. It features Art Bell audio clips as you fight an alien invasion. I did play Prey. And I do know what you're talking about. And it did. I did Paul not play doesn't Prey. Play fun game. I was busy play actually praying. When's the last video game you actually played, Paul? So. Have you played any of the Civilizations past Civ 2? Yeah, four. Quite a bit. Okay. I think you'd like five a lot. Which vastly changes the game. Yeah. Uh, really so when I left LucasArts, I kind of mm-hmm. like that was enough video games for me. Like it was kind of mm-hmm. done. 
but I played a few games with I played a few Star Wars games with kids after. Oh, so I kept playing Lego Star Wars. All the new Lego Star Wars came out. When's the last video? Have you ever? What's the last video game you played that you didn't play with a child? Where like this is just you sitting down and playing a video game. Yeah, like Battlefront Two. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It was more recent than I would have thought. Yeah. No, Battlefront, yeah. not the new Battlefront 2 from Electronic Arts. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know there was an older Battlefront 2. Yeah. Okay. Uh no, I don't I I I I video games became very time consuming for me because I was playing like well, you've never been a big gamer. You've never been a never big been a big game. game. Well, yeah. so I was before you knew me, and then I gave it up for because it was just taking too much time. Because I was that pragmatic. I'm like, this is taking too much time, and I could be studying. Yeah. I remember playing a lot of like NHL '96 with you. Yeah, used to love. Like, like I used to wait. I used to spend yeah. so much time playing NHL games and and like Sega Genesis, like just yeah sonic all day long but yeah all right but then i like once after i worked in video games that was just it was just done so yeah um i'll let seth mcfarland get away with naked gun remake if he also produces another great skeptic show or book like cosmos or he's reading the sagan books so i that yeah that seems fair did you ever watch the the old sagan series yes i did but not, but not like timely. I've I've watched it now since because of, I was curious. Right. Okay. Yeah. So I saw the new Seth Farm. Embarrassingly, I saw the new Cosmos before I saw the old Cosmos. Mm. Even though, as you know, Carl Sagan was a character in comics that I published. Yeah, I mean he's kind of a big deal. He's kind of a big deal. But I yeah. honestly like when especially like I feel like the skeptic community. Yeah. But when the Atomic Robo team was like, hey, we've got permission to use Carl Sagan in the comics, I'm like, that's great. So let me go look that up. Who is that? So because I was a I was a theist at the time and had no use for such things. Okay. <laughs> he uh he seems when he was expressing that hawaii had uh was recognizing gay marriage he seemed legitimately panicked yeah yeah, yeah. He's, he was he was very he i'm was very afraid like he's not angry at this he's afraid yeah. he's afraid yeah I have to have you come to my house. You were threatening me. I am the minister of the new revelation from the Lord. I am the one who received the anointing of the new commandment. And you break, you break all of them every night. You hear me? You, you, you are a fornicator and, and a destroyer, a murderer of America's morals. You are, and, and that woman. Yeah, I know. If I hold her in my sight, I would destroy her for what she is. She is a fornicator with demons. She is a perverter and a fornicator against the Lord, and you, your blasphemy has, has just gone unchallenged and unchecked, and I'm here to clamp down on you. Say that I have no one to put up with it. You're done. You're, 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 you're not going to say anymore, my brother. I, I command you, and I rebuke you, that you stop this. <sighs> Dave, uh, something's leaving me. I think you've done it. What's for the Rockies? You're <laughs> on here, huh? Okay, Carl, this is... Arch, this... Arch just full on. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Oh, you healed me. Oh. So I guess he I was is, wrong. That wasn't the call where he made a mistake, but that was delicious. Oh. Yeah. The new commandment. <laughs> oh, something's yeah. leaving me. I love it. Oh, something's leaving me yeah, with your commanding and rebuking. Oh. Mm. You know what, Paul? Yes, Dave? Paul, I feel mm. like it's time. Mm. Time has come. Another, another installment of, uh, maybe we'll do two. We'll do two here. 
Yeah, we we yeah, we should do yeah. two. We should do two. Of um, is this a comment from Apologia YouTube video or a review of the Charles Dickens classic A Christmas Carol? All right, first one. Uh we'll keep it short and sweet. Sound good, Paul? Sounds good. Dude, seriously, shut the fuck up. <laughs> And put a check mark beside this one. <laughs> so is that a review? I am so Apologia vain. P, I think, think that this song Apologia is about P. me. <laughs> I feel like this song is about me. D, if you think it's a uh, review of the wonderful Victorian classic A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. But it's not a slam dunk. That could it's be. A slam dunk. Dude, seriously, just shut the fuck up. <laughs> Because that could be Charles Dickens. Could be. Yeah. I should. Uh, comma. Seriously, comma. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> well, I'm. I. I'm. I'm so vain. Ooh. I think this song is about me. So let's. Well, Paul, which one is it? You in chat, overwhelmingly incorrect. That is actually a review <laughs> of the Charles Dickens classic novel, <laughs> Carol. That's that even the, better. Uh, that's so that's much better. In entirety. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so much better. All right. Here's um, another one for you. All right. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh, we already read this one. I'm going to put a check mark beside it. I want to read it. Um, I've had this book for 20 years and read it twice! Exclamation mark. Well, so. I mean, it could be so. Uh -huh. The natural inclination is to say, "Well, it, because it's referring to book, right? That it must be related to Charles must be Dickens. related to Charles Dickens." But Paul I do talk me. about books. Tricksy, For example, I'm a tricky bastard. Yes, because I you are a tricky bastard, and I definitely have yeah. videos that cover books. You do. Uh, For example, the sign up for the Jesus and the Dead Sea Scrolls course. That's right. <laughs> Uh, there's the case for Christ, the videos uh -huh. I've yeah. done. There's videos for cold case Christianity. But which Paul also books. knows I'm tricky enough. You are a tricky bastard. To do, to do a double bluff on him, and this might be a Charles Dickens. Yes. You know, it's tough. Uh, so the, all my the, troops the, in Australia. The chat's Paul going with Paul G. Guy. I'm going to go with Dickens. I'm saying this is a Dickens one. You say this is Dickens? Yep. Well, Paul... I'm sorry to have to tell you that you are correct. That mm. is, in fact, a Charles Dickens review. <laughs> Wait, this is on Blu-ray, exclamation mark, exclamation mark, question mark, question mark. <laughs> wow. Exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. If you put more than one exclamation mark in a sentence, I think you should have to be submitted for some kind of psychological review. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah, um, there we go. This uh, not 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 Christmas twenty twenty three, but Christmas twenty twenty two. Right. Yes. Uh, Shannon and I and um, our our twelve. I guess he was twelve at the time. So year old, twelve year old. We're at the. We went and saw a local theater performing. Charles Dickens, mm. right? And uh, I, I, you've probably heard this before. I don't think I have. No. Oh, so we we were it was and it was a minimalist play of it. Like there was there was um, Scrooge was being played by one actor, and then there was like two other actors that were doing all the other parts. All the other parts. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and it was a very minimalist, and it, and it was they they very much had spiced it up for comedy, so they'd. Uh, it wasn't completely the original play they they'd made. They put jokes. Anyway, whatever. I was sitting there, and I I forget what was happening, but I was very tired and was like nearly falling asleep. Didn't here or there. Um, yeah. At some point, apparently, uh, the well, not apparently, the 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 character of Charles Dickens, the lights came on, and he said, "You, you in the black." Yeah, okay. And then he started conversing with me personally. Okay. 
uh, and and made me Did come up on stage. stage. Or were you like high out of your mind? What what was happening here? That... This was like mid afternoon. Like we were at a matinee. Okay. Yeah, so it was like two in the afternoon at a, at a local yeah. theater. Uh, there's maybe like 200 seats. So it was in the smaller theater, not the huge one where mm -hmm. we recently mm -hmm. saw the hobbits doing Rosencrantz and Guildenstern. But we, um, anyway, didn't matter. I'm suddenly like, now I'm most uh, more awake than I've ever been. <laughs> because yeah. all of a sudden the, 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 the audience lights are on and, and the, the, the character Scrooge is talking to me personally. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. And, uh, and wants to know, uh, and wants to know. Oh, I remember. So it's the point in the it's a point in the play where, um, what day is it? And you're oh, and it's Christmas supposed to be day, to, it's right? supposed to be to the urchin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you and I sure. suddenly go into some my own weird version of some Cockney accent. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I'm like, why? It's, it's I don't know. Why, like, why, it's, why, it's, why it's Christmas, it's, Christmas it's Christmas morning, sir. And he, this is delightful. To, <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, I got hauled up. <laughs> I literally got hauled up on stage. So I came to discover that this is actually a bit so and that every, every show they do this. I would pay um, good money for video of this. Oh, Shannon has Shannon has. Oh, I'm I'm I'm, gonna, I'm messaging Shannon tomorrow. So Shannon. I literally got hauled up on stage. Yeah. And at this oh. point, I am now the third actor in the play. Yeah, <laughs> third actor. That's great. So they give me this Four. goose to carry. So, so they have others. this whole other thing. Yeah. Uh, like they, they add this whole thing where like I'm hauling the, uh, now I'm carrying the goose around and we're, and we're like going over things and we're doing prize we're, goose. Yeah. The prize goose. Uh, and, and he gave me a bunch of business that I actually had to like improv thing. Yeah. <laughs> Remember Paul? Yes. And yes. And I, 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 at this point, so, and it's because our 12 year old is there and all I'm thinking about is. Like I would love to blow this off. You know me. Like this is the yeah. last thing in the world I want. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would be so delighted. I would so, just be loving this. The so end of the day. this yeah. whole time when you've been talking about Christmas Carol, all I can think about is yeah. last Christmas to Christmas twenty twenty two when I was, uh, yeah, on stage. Against my will, <laughs> just do an improv fire, with yeah. uh, with the Doing anyway. With the people clapped at the end, they I don't, out of politeness, yeah. so well, you know, you're a handsome man. That gets oh, you I remember we more. we ended up he, the the character had us uh, we ended up going to a few houses trying to find Tiny Tim's house because he didn't know, right. he, he of course didn't know where where Cratchit lived anyway. This is a thing that happened to me. Related that's, to uh that's related a pretty to... good story. Yeah. So that's that's my trauma. <laughs> <laughs> I always can I it's I understand intellectually that there are you know people hate speaking publicly and being in front of people, but I yep. just emotionally can't connect with it because i'm like this is amazing and every time i'm in front of like a couple hundred people speaking i'm like this is great this is the the best place to possibly be and i don't understand why anyone would ever possibly well i mean be nervous or weird about this so i mean know. fortunately for me like that again for me that's not an issue like i can absolutely be on stage in front that's of that's true i've seen you do it you seem i i've been on stage in front of like 19,000 people. Um, yes. Like it's, it's, that, which I have not. So I, I imagine sometimes I do they feel probably like do. there's an academic difference when it's like the difference between 500 people and 5,000 people or 50,000 right. people like kind of gets a little. It, it you, you definitely diminishes yeah. when you can't see the, the faces. Lights that are in your, your um, eyes. I'm I imagine they probably do end up calling up though people who hate, like probably. The, you're right. There probably are people who are for legitimately like that is a phobia. Like when I said I hate it, no, I, I don't care. Be about being on stage, like, and I I rolled with it. Freeze up speaking in front of like five people. In yeah, a meeting. yeah. 
right? And it's yeah. Uh, more like more though. There's just that like, dude, pick somebody else. Yeah, <laughs> like, I'm really... not here. I'm not here for me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this was not... anyway. But Paul, you're performing a wonderful service for all the other people, right? Uh, in the, you know, somebody's got to do it. And anyway, Jim. and our son, the fair, the, you know, uh, had had the best time and had a great story to tell his friends about yes. how I got dragged up on stage, and it's a fun memory for everyone to laugh at me and think about. I mean, I so I desperately want to see video of this now. Yeah, well, check with Shannon. Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah. This yeah. is gonna be great. Yeah. yeah. All right. JC, and I'm I'm glad that I finally got through to you that, that you're not able to keep me from getting through to spread the word because what you had the other night was unbearable. How dare you let someone smoke marijuana on the air? Don't you know what marijuana does to people? What does marijuana? it do? How dare you have someone smoke marijuana on the air? Like Did somebody smoke marijuana on the uh, air? I yeah. guess. <laughs> Also, what can Art do about that exactly? These are call-in shows. Like, anyway, yeah. What does it do? It can cause people to go crazy. They go into a pot rage and murder and rape and kill. You know, how about you know, the two fifteen and two hundred? How, how about the parents of the of the, of the teenager that smokes the joint for the first time and thinks he can fly and jumps off the Empire State Building or a bridge? How can you stand there and say that they should be legal? They get. Yes, this is famously what, what marijuana is known for, is sending people into violent rages. Yeah, and jumping off with Empire State Building Bridge? Is that what he said? I'm... Yes, the Empire State Building Bridge is where... Okay, good, yeah. This I is mean, someone who's... Yeah. He may not be a New York native. A California <laughs> cheeseburger. <laughs> oh. Uh. Incorrect spooky bit hair. Incorrect. Oh, you don't like the Muppet Christmas? I don't know if it's the oh, best. I do. Version. I love. Oh, Bob Carol. But, but the is the Christmas Carol starring Alistair Sinclair as Ebenezer Scrooge. It's black and white. It's the best version of. A Christmas mm, I Carol. agree, actually. Uh, the one I yeah. never, I never understood the the appeal. Uh, and it's a. Mm -hmm. I love Bill Murray. Love Bill Murray. But oh, Scrooge, yeah. it never, never turned my crank. I mean, it's it's a fine movie, right? Yeah, there's thing, there's scenes, there's parts about it I really love. Parts it's like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, but I don't but, think uh, you don't really see it. Like, it doesn't show up on TV at Christmas or stuff anymore. It's kind of maybe it's maybe it's of that time. I think it was of the time, and it was very much like Bill Murray carried it, right? So, right, yeah. But you're you're absolutely right. as in terms of a Christmas Carol version or rendition or yeah. whatever you want to say, it's yeah, it is what it is. Definitely, Muppets is better than that one. Muppets is better than that. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Jay Victor for the super chat. So JC mm -hmm. slipped in time from the forties. <laughs> Explains a lot. Yeah, maybe the fourteen hundreds, more like yeah. yeah. Burn the witch. Uh, and uh, Savage Cobra pot rage is a symptom of marijuana use that often results in violent assaults on cup on cupboards and refrigerators. Absolutely, that's uh, that's always my violently attacking uh, snacks. It's yes. definitely something yes. happens. <laughs> and Thomas Pickett, thank you, thank you, Savage Cobra, and thank you, Thomas hey, Pickett. Tom. Yes. Thank you so much. The best is the show goes wrong. Christmas Carol. I don't know that one. Do you know that one? I don't. I'm not familiar with that at all. No. I'll have to. Uh, I'm going to Google it. Yeah. The show goes wrong. Christmas Carol. A Christmas Carol goes wrong. Well, there you go. I'm going to bookmark this and check it out later. Okay. I don't know. movie from 2017. Well, all right. I feel like this must be a spinoff of like a, sh a show called The Show Goes Wrong. I mean, I don't know. So I feel like this would be like, up. you know, watching The Muppet Christmas. Well, actually, The Muppet Christmas Carol probably does hold up even if you've never seen The Muppets. 
Yeah, I think so. I yeah. think so. Yeah. Okay. Although yeah. it would be better if you had, because there's like certain characters, right. little little jokes you'll get, you know, like Sam the Eagle or Rizzo the Rat and some of these things that. Anyways. Anyway. Squished. That's what happened when you come on over here. Squished. So bad. I'm not going to lie. I had a couple edibles before we started this, and I've been drinking through. I you know, definitely have the munchies right now. Wow. Okay. Well, feel free to go get snacks for your bio break. I don't have any snacks, Paul. Oh, that's no. The, I was going to say, but yeah. not potato chips. That doesn't work well for a stream. So, yeah. I was going to. I actually had my mind because I have a bag of like Lay's. Um, no, rock you have to be crunching potato potato. Just being here and like <laughs> loudly chewing. <laughs> what's the why? Why is that the problem? <laughs> yeah, just dipping them in hell of a good dip, French onion dip, eating my Lay's, and I'm like, all right. Well, now we got to hear. We're gonna hear me. JC telling you why you're a bad person because you know. You, I mean, uh, there's lots of reasons. Yeah, JC, well, no this idea. is this is devil's lettuce related. Yeah. Okay. It's horrible of drugs. Well, it's, it's the devil's weed because it opens your mind to the devil and sucks you right in. The <laughs> devil's <laughs> weed. What, what are you talking about? The Head devil. Turn hurt. your radio. Now hold it. Uh, now hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold <laughs> turn your radio. This is the one sin that Art can't stand. If people's radios yeah. are on, I will deal yeah. with all your shit. <laughs> but no, shit. if your radio's turn your, on, turn your fucking radio on. Off. All right, there's my radio. So, so did you know what happened with the Mansons? They were all smoking marijuana. Were they? Today's marijuana is worse. It's high potent. It's like crap. It's even worse because it introduces and sucks the teenagers into. You heard it here first, folks. Marijuana is worse than crack. <laughs> That's <laughs> said literally nobody anywhere who knew anything what they were talking uh, JC about. JC seems to have some inside track on this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. People in. The and you're sitting here promoting it. The you're devil's drug. The people should go out and try it. How dare you? I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. You said that they... And the fact that you want people to have more than one wife. Oh, free love. I didn't promote that either. <laughs> and that's, that's what you're all about. And, and the fact that you... That you, you mock the new revelation. It's disgusting what, you, what you're doing with the airways. What, do, what new revelation? The one that I am receiving from the Lord and the new commandments. The Your new revelation. Oh, new commandments. Having... Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. This is really cool. What are the new commandments? Well, uh, God and I are working on the new commandments in chorus together. We've been working for some time because... The... God and I. We're collabing. We're, on our... we're collabing we're on some new, assign, new commandments. <laughs> uh... We're spitballing. We're bad, a little, little we're back spit... and forth. Me and yeah. God. Me and God. God and I. He's yep. the objective source of morality, sure, but I got some I got some notes. He's open to feedback. He's, he's, you know? Yeah. Yeah. The, the, oh, look, the people I have ignored. Oh, <laughs> uh, oh, this is... Man, oh. So we are much closer to, to keeping the people in mind by giving specific... Such as you, thou shalt not smoke, thou shalt not fornicate, thou shalt not do drugs, thou shalt not worship the devil, thou shalt not listen to rock and roll music, thou shalt huh. not be a part of the new age, really? thou shalt deny the new world order, oh, and, and these are going to be laid down in the new revelation, oh, and, oh. and, and, no, wait a minute. I am wait a, a minute. part of... Wait a minute, no rock and roll? Did you say no rock and roll? The, the evil rock and roll music that you play with, and the music that you play, is pounds... The pounding rhythm which pounds the will of the listener in a submission every time you go to break. And don't, it's hypnotic and it's demonic. And it talks about getting too excited and I, I won't know why I hide it. I want, I'm not going to repeat it, but it's horrible because that's about fornication. There's going to actually, there's actually going to be a commandment about rock and roll. Yes, there, there already is. I told you in relations. They're about not me. Rock and roll music. No more rock and roll. That's right, because it's of the devil. And, and, and the fact that that man is here on the other night who was saying this to deny government, that that, that jackal that, that hovers over people as they die, that terrible, bitter man, that horrible, that new angel that got struck by lightning, well, he should die because he, he went to the mic. Lucifer is in the light. You mean, an angel the you mean Daniel Brinkley? He's an evil man hovering above people's deathbeds, filling their ideas for a new age. Nonsense and tearing them away. God, those are right before they're going to die. I know what your plan is, and that is you made a vow with Satan that you could be on his right hand to tear away as many Christians as you can before the end of those end times. And, and the fact that you're using talk radio, which is among 
the most people who listen are conservatives, and you're trying to tear us down. <laughs> so you're a torn down conservative, talking oh, to God, getting I'm new commandments. Is that right? No, I am here to keep you in check. We're in check. the lives of, of conservative Christians. And the... <laughs> so, he's, his idea is that because he's worried for his fellow conservatives who are mm. listening to AM radio, which was actually a thing in the 90s for sure. AM radio was very heavily right-leaning. Yes, yes, absolutely. Um but he's so worried that his that his fellow uh, right leaning folks are not going to understand that they're not listening to Rush Limbaugh anymore. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> I feel like they will understand that. Yeah. I feel like, yeah, bring it down. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. America and the fact that you mock the Canadian invasion. Don't you know that they'll be coming across this war? Do not mock the Canadian invasion, Dave. No, we're. Insidious, Paul. Mm. Fifth column. Yep. Doing tricky, right. tricky shit. Yep. Are you doing all right, my friend? I'm doing good. I'm okay. doing good. Sorry. There's work-related emails I was reading that's like, this is happening and stuff, but it's like, I'm looking at them like, this is all stuff that can wait till Monday. That's fine. Okay, because like, you, you could definitely, yeah. you know. Mm. From right. any time now. I was distracted for 40 seconds, but it turns out. No problem. Everything I was worried that maybe you were. Uh... No, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not yet. All right. Uh, at the uh, the point of no return. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. They've already assimilated. You them. know what? You're exactly actually what I needed this morning. I feel so cleansed after your call. My program is well, over. You say yes to Wouldn't you like to say good morning, America? I do not. Uh, it's in America. How about good night? Good night, America. What's that? I'll do it for you. Good night, America. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Now, I gotta know you mean that wasn't you? No, it was not me. And you know it wasn't me because you set that up in order to discredit me. By I did not. That, that cruel <laughs> Bob Comet. I did, be... I did not. Now, hey, wait. Bob just one. Comet. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this oh, actually would have been maybe oh. a good night for bingo because... This would have been a good night for bingo. Because they're going through... Yeah. Uh, we should have. We should have. They're done going the through show after time. show of the various yeah. things. Uh, yeah. Second, he sounded like a slower you all the way. It was something that. No, oh, no. But now we have, we have a super chat. We have a brain cramp, who's been a member for twelve months. Which, if uh, I, I'm no mathematical genius, but that's roughly a year. No, I don't think so. <laughs> okay, I, I I could be wrong about that. Just it's want you two to know how much I appreciate your show. It has a greater impact than you may realize. While fun, you've developed a great community. Oh, I don't think oh. Dave and I would fight that. The best part about this show is the people in chat. Is true. That is yeah. absolutely true. And you're and one of the you're one of the good ones, Brain Craft. <laughs> absolutely. But no, legitimately, we Paul and I both are incredibly grateful for everybody who watches this show, contributes mm. to the show, either through super chats or honestly just participating in chat and being part of it with us. We 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 really appreciate every dollar that people put in, but we would do this for free just because we we love it. We love spending yeah. time here with you listening to this kind of classic. I mean, this is you can't fake this, Paul. You can't. This is this is the real no. deal. This is the good stuff. We got the sangreal here. This mm -hmm. is the true blood. Yeah. So good. Um, we appreciate you too, Brain Cramp. You've been a, yes, a long we time absolutely, the show. Because Dave and yeah. I could just hang out together if that's what we miss. We, could. we miss the rest of you. Yeah. Yeah. Which literally, so. we Paul and I have said this before, but like there was a time when we were like, well, if we're gonna do this. Let's. Why don't we just throw it on YouTube and see? <laughs> true. See what the fuck? Because this is the kind of shit that Paul and I just do for fun, anyways. Mm -hmm. Right? Like this is who we are, and we're like, well, whatever. We'll throw it on Paul's channel. That's right. Yeah. If people like it. They like it. If they don't, they don't. We don't. You know, we're just gonna do it anyways and have fun. And we're delighted that all of you share whatever brokenness it is that. It, <laughs> you love this as much as we do. We're glad you're all here with us. 
So uh, we have Dr. More John Hogg. Yes. yes. Uh, Xenobiologist, Xenobiologist at large, Paul. At large, not medium, not small. Not, not large. <laughs> That's okay. Rush Limbaugh's <laughs> My City Was Gone by the Pretenders. Mm. I don't know what that means. I know I the Pretenders are a, are, a, are a musical. Uh, they are. Yeah. Yes. That part's grew. I don't know uh, how but Rush I don't Limbaugh but I don't understand it. the connection between Rush Limbaugh's my Dr. So. Don Hogg, you're too you're too cool for us. We don't too cool for us. we don't understand the reference, but we will look it up maybe. Yeah. Maybe J, J Victor makes references. an observ observation here. Uh <laughs> JC is never not coming in hot. Yeah, like you'll notice none That's of these correct. calls start with Hey, how you doing? <laughs> how you doing? It's like you're a fornicator <laughs> and you are subverting the American government with your direct lies and communications to Russia. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, love yeah. it. Hey, you know what? And I respect that in a way. Don't come in, you know, this is like office politics. Don't come in being like, oh, we're buds, and I'm giving you the pat in the back and in the meantime, the whole time I'm working to get you kicked, kicked, kicked out, done. No, JC is just straight up. Art, everything you do is the devil. Yeah. And I'm here to keep you in check. And I'm going to get you kicked off the air. And you know what? I respect that. Be, don't stab people in the back. Stab them in the front. Good job, I, JC. That's right. I actually, yeah. I do occasionally host like call-in shows. I'm, I'm, and, uh. Mm -hmm. The, the the least favorite part for me of all the is like the 90 seconds where you're like how you doing hi like it's like the seventh time on the on the show you're as answering how you doing i do yeah. actually appreciate that like let's get let's get to it let me tell you one of my greatest pet peeves all right is when you were at a restaurant me personally or just in general you personally whatever okay, okay. pick thing and as you're paying the bill the server's like what are your plans after tonight oh. So, right, it's just like I know you're just asking this because this is on whatever checklist of like mm -hmm. things that you're supposed to do to connect with clients to try to get a bigger tip. And it's like, you don't care what I'm doing tonight, I don't care what you're doing tonight. How about I just give you whatever this meal's worth plus 15 to 20 percent for yep. a tip? Don't fucking pretend that you care two shits about what I'm doing tonight or tomorrow or any day of the rest of my life. Just move on. And whenever a server doesn't, when they're just like, whatever, I'm just like, hey, dude, I want to let you know, I appreciate you not asking me what I'm doing, like <laughs> going through whatever corporate checklist of things, like you're having a real conversation with me or not. Just being like, here's food and coffee and drinks and whatever. I'm, I'm just fulfilling the needs that I'm supposed to do. I don't need to pretend that you and I are friends. And it's like, that's great because we're not. I'm never going to see you again after today. And that's fine. I wish you the well, but we don't need to pretend there's some kind of emotional connection here. Anyways, I feel like so, I'm getting into. Uh, yeah. The, so, the so Shannon and I went to of, see uh, Dune. Yeah. We went to see Dune 2 last night. Shannon yeah. and I. And prior did to you that. copulate with the popcorn bucket? I did not because they didn't. Have, okay. They're sold out. Yeah, that's the AMC thing, which isn't really a. Key. But uh, yeah, anyway, so we thought we were. But before that, uh, yes, we we went for dinner as one sometimes does before a, a movie. You go you go to mm -hmm. dinner, so we went to a Mexican place. the The food was mm -hmm. amazing. Good. Uh, the 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 service was also quick, which I appreciated because I was a little bit yep. nervous about getting to the. Anyway. And I'm a little bit nervous about when the show time starts, but so we're, we're paying the, paying the bill and the guy says, so uh, just before you go, I just wanted to, I just wanted to, I forgot how he phrased it. I uh, wanted to share one more thing with you. And I say, yeah. as long yeah. as it's not a magic trick, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> as I'm saying that he's yeah. pulling out a deck of cards. Yeah. And he like, literally, uh, the server. Uh, yeah. Has some magic tricks for us. <laughs> now, <laughs> what happened after you said, as long as it's not a magic trick? Did he put the deck of cards back in his pocket? No, he didn't. He's like, oh. he's like, well, it is. 
<laughs> but Shannon, who is more polite than I was at this point yeah. and less concerned about whether we see the stars of the movie, mm. uh, was was more accommodating. Anyway, turns out I mean, this I guy was this guy was really really good. He okay. Yeah. Um, now this is too long a story, but <laughs> nah, it's not uh, Paul. No, it's not. Well, so he was doing so he was performing instead wisely. He he right. identified. Well, I'm going to do perform this trick for Shannon because this asshole doesn't care. So he's like, he's at anyway. Um, I was able to catch a little bit of his shuffle trick from where I was standing because magic tricks aren't designed that someone can kind of be a little bit behind you. Right. Always. Yes. Right. I mean, a good one is, but yeah. But anyway, so then he's like, I think you may have caught what I was doing. I was like, well, a little bit. Like I didn't. I could cut totally identify what was going on but i i noticed something anyway yeah. then he turned and had me do anyway he had me he he had me spun around like he had me pick a card and he's like oh you picked the ace of spades again didn't you and I'm like yes i did and so he, well put it back it's no good and, he, and then he shows me all the cards okay now i'm gonna have you pick another card that isn't the ace of spades and i tried right. to like several times he had me pick cards to try yeah. to not pick the ace of spades, and he, I but did the, every time. Kept picking the ace yeah. of spades. Yeah. Anyway, so for a restaurant server dude, he was pretty good. Um. Anyway, you were saying, but you, I, I just I felt proud of myself that he's like, "Can I talk to you for a bit?" And all I said was, "As long as it's not a magic trick," <laughs> which is like so random thing for me to say. Yeah. And then, it's, but it was sure enough. Was, that's uh, that's what uh, I wanted. Oh, what I want to do. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, we have super chats rolled up here, Dave. We have so many super chats, Paul. Uh, we have TC writes in the '90s. This guy was a late night call in radio crackpot. He still is today, as far as we know. Still He's today. still calling still in today. now. Uh, yeah. now I actually want to figure out how I can get JC to call into my show. That'd be great. Uh, nowadays mm -hmm. he'd be in a Republican presidential cabinet. Yeah, his uh, his ideas are no are no longer uh, strange and weird. Appreciate that, Chase. TCI, good point. Uh, Melly, thank you again. Another super chat. The Canadians are trying to destroy us with their Canuck biz. Yeah. Oh, the Canadian conspiracy, he was worried that Art Bell wasn't paying enough attention. Anyway. It was a good one. Good one. All right. Back to it. It's the Do Toto it. Doppelganger, something that he has set up to discredit oh, me because oh. what he was saying about. Before we get back to it, I mean, yeah. we should, go. Should, we, should we do another? Mm. Another you have a few left? Tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, Paul, there's there's many left. Oh, there's many? Perfect. You can keep for as long as you want. Right. Are you, are you ready for another one? I'm ready. I got the, the graphic up on the screen. A, yeah. Is this a comment on Apologia YouTube video or a review of the Charles Dickens classic novel, Christmas Carol? Um, all right. There are so many, I mean many italicized, necessary words packed in a single sentence. It desperately confused me. Okay, say this one again. There are so many... I mean many italicized unnecessary words packed in a single sentence. It confused me. I feel like Dickens being a uh, quite a evocative writer. Mm -hmm. I'm going to I'm gonna pretend I'm gonna I'm gonna let my ego say that this was Dickens and not me. I'm gonna go ahead and guess you've never read a single Charles Dickens book in your entire life. Mm, that is correct. <laughs> but yes, he's a very evocative writer. Yeah. I'm aware of his reputation. Ah, there you go. Yeah. I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with uh I'm going to go with the big D here, Dave. Give me the D. You're going with the big D. Okay. Yep. And people, you can vote P if you think that's Apology a YouTube video. It seems like D. people are voting. Uh, see your people. Oh, there's a bit of a mix, but it seems mostly, mostly Dickens. Uh-oh. My chat has all of a sudden. Oh, there we go. All of a sudden it caught up. 
Uh, that is, in fact, a review of the Charles Dickens classic novel, A Christmas There Carol. we go. Yes. There we go. There you go. All right. Should do I you... do one more? Yeah, let's do one more. Because we're, we're, we're running out of, you know, I feel like we're maybe, I don't know how much longer we have. How in the hell did I miss this? Glad I found it. Exclamation mark, exclamation mark. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I hate to think of the person for whom is writing this. Hell, Charles... all one word, by the way. I-N-N-A-H-E-L-L. How in the hell did I miss this? How Question in the hell? Yeah. Glad I found it. So part of me wants... So, yeah, there's a lot of people who've never heard of me and discover me along the way and whatever. But I would love to think of there's a person who reached any kind of level of anything is like i've never heard of the christmas carol what the what the what christmas carol scrooge um i'm gonna i'm gonna i think it's i think it's me but i hope that it's dickens you think but you think it's you i think it's me I hope it's dickens that is in fact your it, that is a comment on a polydia yeah. there you go YouTube video. Yeah. Yeah. I would I would love to imagine the you, you, yeah, the person who who late in life discovers Charles Dickens. That'd be delightful. That'd be, that'd yeah. Be. Yeah. There's yeah. so much. There's yeah, so exactly. much. <laughs> All right. We still haven't made it far enough in the in this caller. We haven't even to, made it where he's like your your JC. Where he's taking calls. At some point he starts taking calls. Starts taking calls. Okay. All right. The fact that he's predicting that the Hale Bob Comet is going to be bringing forth some kind of destroyer is is wrong because the, the, the wrath of the Lord is not coming down from a comet or an asteroid. It is coming down when the sky will open up and impart in that glorious hand of the Lord right, will come down and smite right, those who have right, right. been offended against him. Right. And it's not going to be all right, a right, right, right. You know, That's right. cool. Look, are you sure this is not your calmer, younger brother? No, this is not. This, you know, I believe you set that up with the Canadians just so that you could just discredit me. And, and the Canadians again. You said the credits are always, Canadians are always discrediting people. Yes. All right. I need to take a bye break, Paul. Oh, okay. I'm just going right. to, I'm going to enjoy, you, you I'm going to enjoy you, JC you without you. Yeah, I'm going to keep listening. And discredit the new revolution against me. What, why do you, what about the Canadians? What, what does it have to do with the Canadians? You know exactly what it is, and, 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 and it has to tie in with, with the fact that what you're doing with, with Alaska, who has been assimilated by the Canadians already, and that you're going to go up there and you're going to get... Alaska has been assimilated. Alaska's been assimilated by the Canadians. You're here first, everybody. Orders for, for, for what you can do when you can bring back and destroy America. And, and I'm outraged that you, that you set that up, that, that, that you... You 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 purposely had someone come on and trying to take away. But see, I switched phones. I switched. I have a whole new number that you cannot read when I was coming through, and so I called on the other line instead of the West of the Rockies, which is the one I usually call from. Well, and you know what? You know what? I <laughs> oh, he's he's being JC's being tricky now. He was worried that he, I don't know. He was worried that Art was going to like censor his calls because he's like, I'm I'm going to call on the East of the Rockies line or the West of the Rockies line. Um. Definitely, Art wants him to call in, so I don't, I don't think he had to like discover his, discover, disguise in any way his numbers. This is great. This is great. I think that maybe you do have somebody out there who is your close, close to your brother. No, no, no. Because what he was saying was wrong. He was trying to mix truth with lies and saying that that that, that the hail Bob comet, the, the, the wrath of the Lord is not going to come down and comet. It's going to be the hand of God. It's going to come down and smite them and smite you for what you have done. This fornication against my name will not stand, and that was an impossible. I am worried that JC is going to suffer a heart attack. <laughs> Holy cow! He is out of breath. He's excited. Man, <laughs> yeah, Man. yeah. I was, I was listening. I was listening yeah. to the whole. Uh... <laughs> he is flustered. Yeah. Uh, so it He's seems, there. Dave, uh, yeah. inferring from context, it seems that perhaps there was another caller calling in, either spoofing JC. Speaking of mm. spoofs, to bring it back to what we were talking about an hour ago, uh, or 
was just you know another theist caller that maybe Art was calling JC. Anyway, he seems very upset that someone's like doing a ad radio identity theft or something. Oh dear. And Art's just yeah. playing it up, of course, because why wouldn't yeah. you? With more rare there... Canadians, couldn't help but hear that. Yep. Uh, I feel like he's got some issues. So also JC called in using a different number so that Art wouldn't know it was him. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, dude, you do not get it. Art, if he knows it's you, is definitely going to put you on. He's like, gonna definitely is... going to put you on, yeah. <laughs> this but... is not what... It... We're not avoiding you, man. This is... Yeah. Uh... We had a super chat while you were gone as well. Yes. Uh, Vishanti for $5. Thank you, Vishanti. Thank you, Vishanti. Uh, as a certified deep fried Southerner, I will ring Kologi alive and be God's 12 star general. Well, I mean, that's, a lot, I, that's a lot of stars. Vishanti. But I'm also now excited about if I did have my own college show, Kologia. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, natural. when you yeah. when you start the toast to toast separate YouTube, that's mm. a thing that probably that's we're right. gonna have. Paul, just quick quickly make a note. <laughs> College, <laughs> make the notes. Yeah, postulation and and the postulation. Yes, it was it was it was it was wrong of you to do that, and the fact that that, that you're trying to, to to discredit me and tie my name into that that comet business. That, that you went out of your way to fake the photographs so that you could just tie my name to it. This entire conspiracy that you've been brewing. You know what I'm going to do for you? you know yeah, the hail Bop comet was devised and invented solely to discredit JC, the calling guy. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Wasn't the hail Bop comet like 94? Okay, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. If I, if I remember right, and I might be wrong, maybe someone in chat correct me. Hill Bop, it was, it was a comet. It was an impressive visually comet. And then it collided with Jupiter, got caught in by Jupiter's gravity and was absorbed by Jupiter. And that was the end of Hail Bop. Am I, am I wrong about that? Like that's, I, it's just a uh, thing that happened. I don't recall actually, but sure. Yeah. Okay. But yeah. Oh, that's right. No, but Hail Bop was tied in uh chats reminding me it was like with heaven's gate and oh right was, that's that's yeah. where i recognize it from absolutely yeah, they were waiting Hale became a bigger thing right there was going to be a yeah. spaceship that was in yeah. the wake of hail bop yeah yeah right that was going to uh you're right that was going to rescue the people yeah, i forgot about the whole heaven's gate yeah yep, 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 yep. yeah uh neil the 604 atheist oh, right. okay yes Pages, sends yes. in uh Canadian five dollars and says, Ooh. How's have a beer on me? All right. I mean, we're both Canadian, so that's still five real dollars to us. Yeah. But I'm just I'm trying to I don't does it can you get a beer for Canadian five dollars? You sure you sure as heck can, Paul. All right. You sure as heck can. You can even get a craft beer, a good Ooh. beer for, for five dollars. In fact, these beers right here. Were about five dollars a can, so you know. What? Oh, you didn't. We didn't yep. get the report. How was the? Uh, it was, was pretty it? good. It was actually pretty good. Yeah. Wait, yeah. now I'm trying to remember. Was it? It wasn't coconut. What was the flavor? It was coconut. Oh, you it were, was coconut. You, All right. See, there you go. Right. And that was the toasted coconut yep. black lager from uh, what was it? Fieldhouse in Abbotsford, All British right. Columbia, which is the best Columbia. Yeah. Uh. Green Man Dave, uh, this is actually a really good. That's also a good suggestion. Better Call Paul yeah. is also a good suggestion for call Ooh. in show. Call a G or Better Call Paul. What What do you think? What do you prefer, Paul? What are you leaning towards? Uh, I'm going to be honest. Call it, I have my so, vote, but I'll let you say. Well, I'm going to say Call a Gia is closer to the branding. I mean, I feel like Call a Gia is a bit, Better Call Paul is a is a good. I That's a great like name, but uh, but but any like anyone great. named Paul could do that. Whereas you yeah. know, Collegia is specifically Collegia mine, is so. right in your yeah 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 you sanctimonious prick. What I'm going to do for you? What I am going to I'm going to do something that I I promised myself I would never do, but I'm going to do. How would you like to be for a period of at least thirty minutes? Yes. How would you like to be a guest on the program? 
I would that would be fine. I mean, you could express your ideas in a way that you never have previously had enough time to do. You could answer callers' questions. You could, in effect, be a guest. Fine with me. I'm all the better to spread the new revelation. Really? Yes. All right. I um, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put you on hold. All right. And I will come to you at the top of the hour and get your number and call you back. So we'll pay for the call. Mm-hmm. And and we'll let you be a guest for at least half an hour. And let the audience call in and talk to you. That's fine by me. All right. Stay right where you are. <laughs> well, that's fine by me, sir. Someone's going to let me rant and rave for at least 30 minutes? <laughs> mm -hmm. I'll, I'll take it. Um, I feel like Art must not have had much up uh, that night. <laughs> Didn't have much on the agenda that night. It's the old, uh, yep. Why not? It's Friday night. All it's right. Fr it's Friday so night. Let's find oh, out he, if he's really. Matthew K, perfect example right there. Call Agia with Dave. Mm. I feel like Paul. It just, it writes itself. It writes itself. It writes itself. Uh, Brain crap makes a great point. JC, all of a sudden, he was like, he was incredibly like, he was at eleven. <laughs> yeah, and they're like, hey, do you do you want to be a guest? It's like, yeah, that'd yeah, be awesome. Well, that'd sir, be I, I, I do. let me I do. let me I seem reasonable. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, and and Melly, that's right. So JC's no fidget man. Fidget man hacked the system. And became yeah. his own. Uh... He, he figured it all out. The yeah, he just Although, got as in. As far as I know, he never called in again. Where there's no. No, more... Fidget Man wasn't a multiple. Uh... Yeah. With his time Beyond traveling. Right. Yeah. Whereas I don't know if everyone's enjoying JC or not, but theoretically, I, I feel like everyone's enjoying JC. <laughs> theoretically, we could do some more episodes with JC in the future. I feel like everybody who's watching this stream right now mm -hmm. is enjoying <laughs> JC. All right. Yeah. That's true. We can uh, we can save some of this for. Uh, well, we don't need to save some of it. So let me because how clear. long is this? This there's compilation six here. hours. Yeah. Of it, and so we have done twenty minutes. Episode. Yeah. We haven't even done one hour yet. So we haven't even done one. Hour. <laughs> no. So we got we can do some multiple parts. Yeah. We don't okay. need to save anything. We don't. There's no reason to save no. anything. Uh, caller, are you there? I am here. Oh, you certainly are. All right. Um, you've rarely been on this early in the program, and uh, I am now going to give you that for which you have always wished, and that is more of a forum to say what you want to say. You always claim I never give you enough time. That's correct. You always cut me off, and you subvert my, my words and turn them against me by calling me the devil's mouthpiece, which I am not. All right, all right. That's fair enough. Look, look. Do the wild thing at 702-727-1295. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, no, no, no. I don't want your entire name. We never allow last names on the air. So what, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to call you by a nickname. How about J.C.? That is fine with me. J.C., you, uh, all right, from now on then, you will be known as J.C., the man who, and you know what I want to know? What? I want to know why you... <laughs> So I'm uh, Michael, good friend of the channel, uh, yeah. partner, frankly, in the channel. Uh, yes. Michael, I got to disagree with you here. He's been calling yeah. in for 20 years. I don't think he's a troll. I think he's legit. I think JC is, this is, this is who he is. Yeah. He is upset every yeah. time. Yeah. Like this going back. I don't know if I, well, I know Michael was here at the start of the, the stream like yeah when he was calling in like 95 yeah and it's like nope this is not a thing he's he's just calling and raging right at the start like i think this is just who jc is yeah yep think that i'm the devil's toe jam the devil's mouthpiece why you think then I would forward the ideas of the evil well, one true. below well first of all you have desecrated the holy ground of talk radio right wing talk radio when i began to the holy ground of talk radio the holy ground yeah <laughs> desecrated consecrated by rush limbaugh <laughs> and lord himself yeah that the movement oh of talk radio was here to cleanse and clarify america with the great such as rush i feel limbaugh like jc is probably a big like alex jones supporter 
Oh, probably. Probably, yeah. Yeah. Robertson, you get along with the youth radio. No, what they talk. You bring forward all these new age ideas, and, and you subvert Christianity by, when well, you say, well, I believe in the Lord, and I think this, and I think that, and then you bring on all these people who do remote traveling and remote viewing and conjuring and, and demon worship, and because you bring in the new age, which is which is like the Trojan horse of Satan, that the new age will come, and, mm. and he will bring you all these great things of crystals and beauty, and what he does is he's slipping it. Crystals, Paul. Crystals and crystals and beauty. And beauty. You don't be don't be bringing beauty around God. God no. can't be handling your ra ra random beauty. I knew Crystal um, was a beauty. She stole my fucking CD player. <laughs> so, you and I, even though we were in the same church, frankly, um, mm -hmm. but you are younger than I. Yeah. By a couple Do you years. remember when our church and every church mm -hmm. was like the biggest scare, the biggest problem was New Age? Like it was the oh, yeah. woke. New Age oh, was yeah. the woke of... Oh, like the early 90s. The early yeah. 90s. Yeah. 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 New Age. And it was just a phrase you could you could label anything New Age. It didn't like... Because yeah. it didn't mean anything. Crystals, incense, wicked. Right. All, like it was, it was a New Age. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Lady doing Andrew yoga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All of that. Uh, the any kind of like Eastern spirituality of any kind. Yeah. New Age. Uh, yeah. Empire Strikes Back. That was New Age. I and didn't hear that. That I was familiar with New Age a little after. After uh, that, because uh, because Yoda, it was episode episode four was for some reason okay, but suddenly Yoda was talking about like everything's all being one. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I could see that. That was that, that was that is a very new age concept. Yes, yes that was a big problem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Melody King. Yeah, exactly. Age, which is funny because it's like a lot of the new age concepts are like, well, these are you know multiple thousands of years old. <laughs> right. These ideas, but yeah, whatever. They're popular in California now, so I guess this is new age. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, conflated with one world government, of course. That was yeah. Was, oh yeah. Know. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Melody Kate, don't want to spoil. Hey, don't want to spoil. We will see. JC is truly not a troll as the years go on. Perfect. Yeah. I Excellent. mean, I feel like we got a pretty good sense of. What I got a pretty good, but yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, nice, nice to have right. the vindication. Yeah. Yeah, you see, you're, you're, you're right provoking people to go into trance yeah. and to astrally travel and to attempt psychic phenomena, which is expressly forbidden by the Lord. And by the Lord, through me into the new revelation, has yeah. spoken to me and told me that you, you are bringing about the evil, foul desecration of America's nighttime people because there are people who, what you do is you get them and they're late at night and they leave the radios on after listening to maybe G. Gordon Lady or Rush Limbaugh and then oh. you come along and. I don't want to cut off JC. Melly points out in one of our chats here, one of my mom's friends is terrified of yoga because she thinks it's demonic. And mm. I just, I think of the things that have been demonic through the decades of my life. Yes. I remember uh, a story um, I heard in church growing up. Uh, somebody came in who were the, like, who grew up in a, in a small town um, so this is something that rings true with me. They grew up where they're like pool halls and card games. Oh, yeah. Like that's the devil. Yeah. Uh, but you go, you through your bowling and everything fine. And he's like, he went to a different small town where the bowling alley was also the bar and like bowling's the devil. Mm. Like this is bad, but you can play pool. That's fine. And all of these things that have been attributed like, oh, this is the devil. And it's like every five years it changes. It's yoga. It's Dungeons and Dragons. It's Ouija boards. It's heavy metal music. It's whatever. Stand up you know, video like, games was a thing for yeah, video yeah. games. Yeah. It's uh, this is the devil. Arnold Schwarzenegger movies, you know? Like, yeah. Oh, pick, for sure. Pick your, pick your thing, pick your poison. Three years later, it's going to be something completely different, but it's definitely going to be the devil. 
crystals, Wiccan, like you said, New Age, One World, European money. That's the uh, all these things yeah. that have been at one point or another. Yeah. I'm oh, like sure NAFTA. NAFTA was the devil. NAFTA. Like, yep. Oh, yeah. Yep. I mean, this is just step one. The EU. Exactly. Yep. yep. Huge, huge, big <laughs> red flags. Yep. Oh my goodness. Anyways, it's, it's as a student of history, as a fan of history, I'm not, you know, I'm not a historian, but it's like just watching the repeating patterns of you know, through the centuries, everybody, every time you can pick any decade from any century, it's like, there's something that's like, this is the devil. This is the the thing that's evil and go. It's like, it's the same shit, like whatever. Just, just pick your century. It's fine. Yeah, it's absolutely. Whatever new thing. Yep. Yeah. What is it? Is it corsets? Corsets are the devil. Let's, <laughs> let's move I, on. Uh, I think here's my, the <clears throat> AI is going to be that in the next couple of years for sure. Yeah. I mean, that's probably true because Skynet is a real thing that's going mm. to happen. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Pokemon and Doom. I remember both those things. Yeah, I do too, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Pokemon, hilariously, uh, yeah. one of the reasons I remember people were because the word evolution was used in it as well. Yes. <laughs> yeah, because Pokemon would evolve to whatever. It's like, well, this is, this is just, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's like, yeah, Pokemon evolution isn't actually biological evolution, but okay. Like, did you ever play Doom, Paul? Are you familiar with? Yeah, Doom I actually I did on 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 Doom so Doom Two on, Doom on Two my was old, the... uh, on my old yeah. Mac eighty four, like my yeah. my one twenty eight K Mac eighty four. We played oh, Doom. There's yeah. de- there's literal demons you fight in Doom. There is little in demons Doom 2, and the twenty Doom remakes that have. Come but it's so funny because when I got my Mac. And it was so expensive. Um, yes, the there were so few games that hey, even here's though the I thing. was, I yeah. mean, we're forty years later, but Max are still fucking expensive. Anyways, carry on. Enjoy um, your Max Studio, sucker. Yeah, well, I'll take it. Um, the, the it was it, it was acceptable and actually and frankly there's still so few mac only there's still so few mac yes. native games it's still the same thing prince um, of persia no there's yeah. a lot but you can play anything you want on the, on your mac but it's still yeah the yes. the um, windows is the if if, if you want if you're a serious gamer windows is the uh well so i went through and and my boys went through um up until Max Silicone. Good job. Harry. I bet we've been dual boot for decade. Like we spent a decade being dual boot right. family. So it's like, well, yeah. you want to play a game, you just reboot. You reboot into Windows where into all the Windows, games, yeah. Where everything fun is. Exactly. Yeah. Conscious and, and had all dark, kinds of evil game. ideas and about about fornication and fornication. But, 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 but listen, you, all that aside, otherwise ah, I'm a cool good one, Vicanti. <laughs> Roses are red, violets are purple, Halo is infinite, but Doom is eternal. You don't get any of that, Paul, you no. goddamn nerd. <laughs> uh, Dr. John Hogg. Yes. For, for $2, thank you. Uh, NAFTA signed by G.H.W. Bush, but Congress yeah. wait, waited until Bill Clinton. Oh, I didn't actually... I didn't remember that. I was still living down there when that happened. Yeah. But. There was a whole, because there was a thing in the 80s. So Canada and the U.S. had a free, I can't remember what it was called. There was a free trade agreement between Canada and the U.S. Uh, in the 80s uh, between Brian Mulroney and Reagan. Brian, and Brian then, Mulroney uh, passed away this last. Week. He did, just like mm-hmm. yesterday. Yeah. Um, big deal in Canada. Yep. Um, but anyway, and then later on, they let Mexico into the club too, and NAFTA was formed. Um, it was NAMBLA, yeah. Dave. It was the, the the prior one was NAMBLA. It was, and then NAFTA, and then it's I can't remember what it is now. It's not NAFTA anymore. It's another no, different thing, which I should literally know because yeah, the know. job I work in is a hundred percent all about like this is this is shit I deal with on a daily basis. The uh, 
Mexico and the United States and Canada trading in cross borders, but I can't remember what it's called. It's not NAFTA anymore. It's a new thing. Anyways. Anyways. Yeah. Uh, Thomas Pickett for two dollars writes, "You can game on Linux now." Yeah, but not really. You can uh, what? Yeah. You can play. You can play Steam on Linux, though, right? Yeah, that's yeah. cute, Thomas. Well, Everybody that's... knows if you want to really game, you play win. You, you you game with Windows. That's you know you, you take your Linux. That's cute. I have <laughs> Linux machine. I just authenticate my Windows servers. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. You can do lots of. There's lots of emulators running on Linux too. So there are, that, that is actually true. That is actually true. Yeah. Very right, cool. When you're burning in hell. Burning. I tell you that much. Burning. 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 All right, look, uh, I promised the audience I always get a chance to talk to you. They never get a chance to talk to you, so I'm going to let the audience talk to you. West of the Rockies, you're on the air with Jay-Z. Hi, Art. This is Cynthia from San Diego. Hi, Cynthia. I'm the wife of Ed, who called earlier and has called you a few times. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Um, basically, um, uh, I have more comments and, uh, comments and questions to, for Jay-Z. Yeah, go ahead. Um, Jay-Z, I'm a, I'm a Christian, too. And How are you? And... I look at Art Show as a great open forum to discuss. Well, you've obviously been corrupted. Well, sir, um, I don't agree with everything that comes on mm -hmm. on the air, and just, I think you just agree some of casually with anyway. some of the satanic stuff, and and you you just casually agree with Satan. Well, you know, I don't agree with everything Satan does. I don't agree with the fact that Satan inhabits the bodies of serial killers and tortures people. But no, you know, some of the things that Satan does is all right. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wow, that is a uh, wow. Yeah. I feel like JC would have been a good talk radio host. Just yeah, you know, maybe missed his calling. Maybe missed his calling. <laughs> yeah, I feel like he's paving roads or something. But you know, listen, Dave. I don't. I personally don't like how Satan is a mass murderer. Maybe you like that. Maybe. <laughs> You're, like, you're just casually agreeing with a mass murderer. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I was like, do you ever watch um oh I think this was the Tim and Eric bit? Do you ever watch like um Tim I'm aware of it, but I didn't John. watch it. You're aware of it. There was one um where there like there's two grocery stores, and like the one grocery store would be like we have, you know, like lettuce on sale, half off. And the other one was he like, we never, you know, have children go missing from our store. <laughs> and the other one's like, we never have children anywhere. What? Why are you even talking about this? The other one was like, nobody has ever been raped in the produce section of our store. <laughs> and, you know, I love it. Always super defensive. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, I mean, if you Google it, you can find it there. Like. It ran through like several episodes of their show. They did these competing <laughs> produce section. The one's always like, hey, we have the freshest tomatoes in the market. And the other's like, you know, nobody has ever been stabbed and eviscerated and set up like art on the wall in a murder mm. museum in our store. They're like, that's never happened in our store either. <laughs> why, are you, a... why are people asking me about this? Yeah. This is a huge escalation, but I feel like it's the same line mm -hmm. on The Simpsons. With well, we don't know if divorced people buy crackers. Yes, we yeah. we don't want we, we don't, don't want to know. know. Frankly, we don't want to know. Maybe divorced. We we crackers. make crackers for good American, you know, moral people. Yes. Uh, ah, there you go. Yes, TC. That was Mr. Show. Not oh, the Mr. Show, he, right. which I did watch yeah. on occasion. Yeah, I have a I have a big DVD collection of Mr. Show. Uh, so yeah, there we go. Yeah, fair enough. That does seem like a more, but but not Blu-ray. Uh, no, because it predates Blu-ray by uh, quite a bit. But the comment was about blue. We had a comment earlier about Blu-ray, so it's kind of. I mean, yeah. I made a comment about Blu-ray. Yeah, you did. Yeah, in Bye, regard guys. to the hottest show, the new game, Paul. That's sweeping. It's sweeping it's the internet. The Taking it by storm. Tell me, is this a... <laughs> oh, I really enjoy doing these streams with you. Is, tell me, Paul, is this a comment from Apologia Video? Or 
a review of the Charles Dickens classic novel, A Christmas Carol. Uh, what do we got here? Okay, you ready, Paul? I'm ready. Tell me, chat, vote P if you think this is a comment from Apologia video on YouTube, or hit D if you think this is a review on Goodreads of the Charles Dickens classic novel, A Christmas Carol. I personally didn't love this one. In fact, I think it was just okay. It was not my cup of tea. I was completely lost. Like, I didn't know what it was about, but it was just weird to me. <laughs> Is that a Apologia YouTube oh. video or a review of the Charles Dickens classic novel? I'm so Carol. freaking narcissistic. I feel like this one's mine. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, although me. again, once again, I, I so I think chat. it's me, but I would I hope it's Dickens. <laughs> Paul, Paul, shut up, shut up. Okay, all right. I'm gonna read this. Okay, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be rude. I personally didn't love this one. In fact, I think it was just okay. It was not my cup of tea. I was completely lost. Like I didn't know what it was about. But it was just weird to me. I'm changing my vote. This is Dickens. <laughs> Is it Dickens? I'm changing my vote. Your vote. You coward. Be narcissistic, Paul. Be who you are. This is Dickens. Uh, I'm seeing... Ooh, it's pretty split. Going through through the chat there. Uh, that is, in fact, a review of the Charles Dickens classic <laughs> novel. <laughs> Carol. Yeah. Because it's so much more delicious if it's Dickens than if it's It's so me. much more delicious. <laughs> Uh, last one right now uh do you want to save this, one more this one, you... sadly this one's a, a kind of layup all right well let's but do it I, now I'm out of, I'm out i don't of, want to solo of. a layup so let's let's do it ken ham talks about evolution all the time so he must believe in evolution i mean i feel like we all know what that is yeah charles dickens famously quoting ken so ham charles over and dickens over famously talks about evolution frequently that's it i'm out of uh you're out I'm, all right well I'm that was record. a fun game i enjoyed that, that game. Was a fun game we'll uh we'll throw out maybe in the future different apologia mm. youtube comments versus versus very good reviews of classic <laughs> english canon literature <laughs> yeah or other I literature. Old Man of the Sea. Maybe I'll do Old Man of the Sea next time. Mm, yeah, or Old Moby Man Dick, or yeah, something. Yeah. Moby Dick would be a good one. Yeah, Wuthering Heights was one I looked at. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, um, are you good to go for a little longer? Or are you? Or are you oh, wrapping? Up? Fuck, Paul sleeps for pussies. We're okay, good to go. Because I was gonna say we we just hit the three hour mark, so I just want to make sure you're still good. I'm still good. You with it's your uh, you with your various you chemical live. inducements. You still good? I'm, I'm like, great. Oh, look at how much beer is in. Oh well, we gotta go. I I am enjoying JC as much as I'm I've enjoyed JC anything we've mentally. done. This is the best. You know, just so chat knows, this was Paul's idea. This wasn't this my, was my idea. Yeah. He came to me and he's like, "Hey." Look at this crazy ass <laughs> thing, and I'm like, "This is this is fucking brilliant." You gotta, we gotta do this, yeah. And you, and you, thank, thank you. You, you're basically sight on the scene. Well, if you're this excited, let's just do it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the Josh, yeah, it's your third super on a live stream. I'm assuming that means in YouTube in general. Welcome, Josh. Oh my goodness, that's hey. Yeah. Our sponsor today. Yes. Can't just Rubber having band. you lofting things on your own support. I, have, I uh, actually feel now, now, Paul, you're calling me out. I should have had a couple rubber bands. You should have. Uh, you can't they just be. Them watching this late into the stream are pretty I, slim. You I can't just be fine. hurling things, you know, unaided. Pew. Uh, the Josh, thank you for with twenty dollars super chat. This is super generous. Thank you, the Josh. I don't often catch Toast to Toast live, but when I do, I super chat. 
We love to have you. <laughs> Thanks for keeping YouTube in business. Yes, that is largely right, what we're we known are. for. No, because uh, Bopper, there will be no reviews of Dune because I'm not seeing Dune 2 till tomorrow. So yes. everybody can just shut their goddamn mouths about Zip Super it. Chat. Super Dune, nothing. No. Quiet. Even I, don't I have told nothing. I have told Dave nothing about the Dune. Dave. No, he has not. But you can be a sometimes Christian, no, sir, but I'm a Christian. Sir, I cannot apply the same standards to non-Christians as to other Christians. What, what, if, what's that supposed to mean, non-Christians to other Christians? Either you're Christian or you're not. If you're a non-Christian, right. you're, you're trying going to go to hell. Sir, you're trying to apply standards to art that he may not choose to adhere to. He what does it matter? To it's like saying Christ. I was ignorant of the law. Either you obey the law or not. If you murder and then you say, oh, I did not know the law. That's not my standards. I'm not going to adhere to the law because I feel murder is something that I can be wild and free and, and give my love and hate freely and then I can just go and do whatever I want. And since I am not applying to those standards, well, Lord, well, Lord, since you have your standards, I have my standards. And, and I'm going to do what I want so it's okay for me to murder it's okay for me to kill people i'm pleased to say that i was as fundamentalist as i was yeah i was much closer to the caller mm -hmm. i definitely had felt like yeah like we all this idea that would now be called christian nationalism or whatever that that we should like try and be legislating or convincing non-christians to um like to try to be, be have adopt a Christian morality view via any method other than converting them was ridiculous. Yes. Uh, so now that I'm hearing it back, I'm like, oh, maybe I was on, maybe I was on the modestly better side of where I could have been. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. Yeah. Although, well, no, because it, it, I mean, when you're when someone's not saved, when they're going to go to hell, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter if you miss heaven by an inch or 50 miles, right? Like, like improving someone, just improving the morality of someone who's going to go to hell anyway, didn't, doesn't help anyone, anything. It's true. Yes. So, yes. I mean, from a, again, I, I do, now, of course I think it helps. Uh, but when you're, when your main, point is Christian salvation, then yeah, it doesn't matter. ...to do drugs and rock and roll and, and whatever else you want to do. And so it's okay because I have a different standard. Well, let me tell you something. You don't have enough respect in your voice to be a Christian. And the fact that you come on here and claim to be a Christian is the fact of why we have so many people who are in the... JC is very good at uh, discerning motivations via tone of voice. This yes. is the second time now where it's like, I, yeah. I know they weren't saying the opinion I'm going to spew, but I could hear in their voice that they meant, oh, it was overthrowing the government. I know they didn't say to overthrow the government, but you could hear but that's what he really meant. We all know. We, we all, all know. Paul, you, me, you know, the the furniture around, we all know. Yeah. You're talking about overthrowing the government. You, yeah, with your hail bop. Hail you know bops. Yeah. Yeah, your, your secret messages to the Kremlin. <laughs> Ben Murphy, which is, you know, fairly close to Brian Mulroney. Super Channel 299. I always enjoy Toast to Toast, T to T. But this app, I get your art love. See, this is, I feel like, Paul, this was a wonderful choice. Mm. Because this is really getting home to the people what, what it is. Because I feel like we miss that on some episodes, you know. Well, sometimes because like, because we, we're always focused on what's the weirdest or most outlandish guest. Yeah, we pull the mail's hole or whatever it is. And like, a lot of times in those art just stands back because they're they're doing their work on their own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hard to convey how mm. glorious this was, mm. but this is a good job of showing. Like, no, this is what this is what coast to coast was like and he was uh, obviously was on his on his feet thinkers like you know he this yeah. was this wasn't planned yeah. he's just i'm gonna let it go not even into the evil new age. Age. Yeah. 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 all right 
sir. Um, I consider you to be an embarrassment to Christianity, and the reason why I say mm -hmm. that is because as Christians we are to follow Christ, and Christ never went around slamming people, um, tossing them into the ground, burning, telling them they were going. That's not entirely true. He didn't have a lot of. He didn't like the Pharisees much. Didn't like the Pharisees much. No. No. Burning hell. Do you he have never, food? ever. Well, that that, that should be enough. enough. That, in fact, for did not Christ say that to his apostles at one time? Christ um, went around. He had um, great respect for people. Well, have you ever had the revelation from Christ? Have you ever the revelation from the Lord? In hell What's that? Christ never went around telling people that they were going to burn in hell. Now, I he would confront people on one-on-one -on -one mm -hmm. as he came across to them. Mm -hmm. And, and you know, um, such as the woman yeah. at the well. I mean, yeah, if there was ever a woman who had done a lot of wrong things in her life, it was her. But... All right, J.C., there you go. See, she, she kind of made a good point there. She said uh, Christ himself never went around doing what you're doing, saying people are going to burn in hell. Well, I am, I, <laughs> I am charged. He's just pushing the buttons. He's great in the grind in the gears. Oh, yeah. He's good. So this is interesting interestingly to me and perhaps to you paul i don't know like this is the fundamental dichotomy within christianity itself mm -hmm. the um you know shoot them all and let god sort them out christianity versus the we need to meet people where they are christianity right which even in the 80s, 90s, when I was growing up in the church, when you were growing up in the church, like this was, this is a real thing. Like the, the dichotomy within, you know, Christian doctrine within Christian church, right? Like, do you go and, uh, you know, everybody, you know, it's like, I'm going to talk with, I'm hanging out with prostitutes, with, you know, whatever, whatever thing that would be the most disreputable to a Christian believer. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's like, that's the people that we need to interact with. And to interact with them, you have to meet them at their level and accept them for who they are and go on versus the like holy fire. Right. And, and, um, or or at least the called to be separate, before. called to be holy yeah. people. Yeah. Yeah. Do not um, associate. Yeah, but so Paul has a whole list of people you shouldn't associate with: debauchers, yes. slanderers, adulterers, like blah blah. blah. Um, yeah, so this it's that weird. In in anything in Christianity, you can always find you can support if you want to uh, different different approaches. Yes. So yeah, yeah no, you're right. Uh, the, this is a a great illustration. Absolutely. That was an active debate when I was in the church in the 80s and 90s, right? Where it's like. Where is the line? What do you, where is it okay to associate with what people and go? Um, I assume it's still an active debate in church. Now I assume it was an active debate in church 400 years ago. Oh, probably. Right. Were it's we whole... still called a Mennonite church when you attended? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Because you know that it's not anymore, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I was there when that whole thing happened. Oh, were you? Okay. Yeah. 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 Because yeah. it was double on top of that, right? Because people would be like, how can we possibly be seeker-sensitive while still maintaining Mennoniteness? Yeah. Because Mennoniteness was all about separation. Right. I So there was a, a general meeting of the church that I think you were not around. At this point. I, I might have been probably in San Francisco. I then. got up and spoke in front of the church. There was oh, this whole thing about this. Like, do we stay in the conference? Do we whatever... Because uh, I had not grown up in the Mennonite thing. So Tradition, I was like, yeah. I don't understand. Like, these people are saying, like, this, this, and this. This is antithetical to what this particular church believes. Why are we still giving money to these people or, like, paying any service or reference mm -hmm. to any of this? And there was, you know, it was kind of like, well, there's this whole tradition and everything. But, like, it's not my tradition. Right. So, like, I don't understand why we are still, you know, like, kind of kowtowing to this thing when this is, like, this is not what 
this body, even when I was a, you know, like Advent uh, or fervent Christian, you know, like this is not what I believe. This is not what this particular body professes to believe. Why are we still giving money to these people every year? And a lot, you know, it, and I get it. It was things like, well, 80 years ago, they held us out of Russia. Yeah. You know, we're like, which, which is a real thing, right? Where it's like, yeah, we were fucking being killed. And mm-hmm. these are the people that went to bat for us and got us, you know, saved our freaking lives. So it's like, yeah. I get that and go, but it's also, anyways, this is you and me could have a whole. Yeah. Uh, no, I, I was just curious. Nobody in chat yeah. gives two shits about the, uh, the Anabaptist experience. Yeah. But you can. And I, I was because I did grow up in a minute at heritage. So for yeah. me, it very much was this whole idea of, well, we're definitely our whole heritage is about being separate and being different. But also, yeah. how does that match with the evangelical commands? Because, right. um, you know what, we're not likely to lure too many people in, you know, and hey, now here's your here's your three button black shirt and your weird hat that you're going to have to wear. Like, so it's like, so it was, yeah, yeah, anyway, yeah. Yeah, like on the, the, it was somebody who didn't grow up in the Mennonite tradition yep. or the Anabaptist tradition, and be like, "I don't know what all you people are about." Like, this is what it says, yeah, in the New Testament. This is like, this is what Jesus says. So I'm reading this. Well, the, no, the, the, the point, the problem is, he says doing. both. Yeah. You're supposed yeah. to be separate, but you're also supposed to go out and win converts. So it's yeah, but there's things like. Don't use rubber on your tires and shit. Oh yeah, like, yeah. Or, yeah. Are, are, are weird. What, a, what the fucking hell are you talking about? Right. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what convoluted theological <laughs> arguments you've gotten to to get to this position, <laughs> but I'm looking at this, <laughs> and I'm looking at this where you are, mm-hmm. and there's a pretty heavy disconnect between here and here. Yeah, this doesn't make sense to anybody but you and <laughs> no, me. No, no. Yep. Yeah. Uh, we had, uh, I killed Earl added yeah. five, five new members to the toast to toast crew. So we appreciate, we, we have new, um, oh, new so, members of the black. So new members of the black box club. Awesome. Yeah. Screw you and your black boxes. Well, they're very Mennonite. They're very Mennonite. Yes. God's work. Someone's got to clean up this mess. You think you're above God, don't you? No, I, in fact, I'm very close with God. Uh-huh. First time caller line, you're on the air with J.C. Good morning, Art. Good morning, J.C. Good morning. Um, I'm Charlie. I'm calling from Medford, Oregon. Mm-hmm. And I've heard you call in and give Art a ration of hell a number of times. It's not hell. Number that's one, the fire of the Lord. Well, number one, I think Art is very level-headed. I enjoy his uh-huh. programs immensely. And uh, I, I might be one of those new age people you talk about, but I'm yeah, 47 like years old. I am from the rock. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, so that was a time when uh, that was just a slander that you could just hurl at people. Mm-hmm. I feel like we need that warning like they put on front of Warner Brothers cartoons. Where it's like, this was a product of the time. And this is not necessarily. Yeah, we're presenting it here for historical reflection. Yeah. Roll your not yeah. a doggone thing wrong with me. Yeah, and except he's got a book. Well, there's nothing wrong with me. Oh, no, I listen to rock and roll. Hold there's nothing wrong with hold me. Hold it, hold it. That's the the way you get more. all excited, your voice raises. You start talking at warp eight, where your mind's only doing sublight speed. Oh, no, You're not don't doing your blood pressure. Your heart beat a doggone bit of good. You need to mellow out, man. No, no, you're the one who has the problem. No, you you're need the to one mellow who. You're the one who. You're the one who. You're the one who. You are so warped mentally. I don't think there's a psychiatrist no. in the United States. I don't know. I'm not warped mentally. Out. I am on the level and with the Lord. You might be on the level with the New Age and the Rock and Roll generation, generation, but you're Dustin. You're nothing but you. You are like a New Age. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. minute. What is the matter? Hold it, everybody. Hold it. Hold it. What? What is the matter with rock and roll? Not a damn thing. Of course, no. Art, art is constantly. You can talk about whatever you want, but when you're trying to ban rock and roll. Every time. Oh, my gosh. Uh, 
He, delects, <laughs> he just directly insults his intelligence. He's like, get out of here with your Star Trek talk. That's, that's what get he's getting out of here with your Star Trek talk. Yeah. Mm. Just. Oh, my God. What you said there's the, the, the power of the world that you're saying is in rock and roll. In fact, in rock and roll music, it powers the will of the listener into submission, subverting them with, with horrible lyrics, uh, such as you fornication. Are a... For a guy against fornication, he sure he says the word pounds a lot. He says the word pounds a lot. <laughs> yeah, but no fornication, but, but I'm very concerned about all the pounding that's going on. There's a lot of pounding going on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Next puppy, JC. You need to be taken out behind the barn like a sick animal and be put out of your misery, man. No, I think... I you... think there's a lot of people yeah, out there... You need to be put out of your misery. And you will be put into misery is what you're going to have. Because so you're going to be burning hell. We laugh and get a good laugh out of it. I have an idea of a lot of people out there listening to you right now. And they're well, just rolling on the floor, question. holding their guts and got tears from out of their eyes are laughing so hard. All right, all right. Yeah. Let him ask. JC, ask your question. Are you, sir... That, that's actually correct. <laughs> Definitely with our audience, we have tears in our eyes from laughing at the mm. laughing at him. You sound like a homosexual. Are you a homosexual? Oh, JC. Hey, come on now. What are, where the hell do you get an idea like that? Well, I don't know. We just, it, <laughs> you can always tell. I am a happily married man. Point. I love my wife very much. We're mm -hmm. both night shift workers and day sleepers. I'm on my night off right now. We so well, know it's each during the day. Try to call That's the devil's while. undead. Oh, JC, you ought to apologize for this one. JC, you're, you're, you're a right. sick puppy. You're, you need to be taken out behind the barn like a sick animal. I think, no, no you, you you he's ordered you to apologize. He's I have no hate. <laughs> Unless you're homosexual, in which case. Oh, 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 my goodness. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you know what's so I think we've talked about it on the channel. So, I have um, a multi DVD set that is the Looney Tunes like gold edition, yeah. Um, and when I watched it the first time, I'm like, there's a there's cartoons I've never seen before, and I've seen a lot of Looney Tunes, or it's like there's scenes from cartoons. I have never seen because even in the eighties, it was like no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, they were starting to pull back on a few we, things. We can't, we can't show this. We're gonna edit this chunk out of this Speedy Gonzalez or this Daffy Duck. You know, uh, yeah. Whatever. It's just like, oh wow, okay, that's just <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, it was a product of a time. I don't know what to tell you. This is um. This is a special, yeah. It's a it's a very, it's a very special art bell. <laughs> very it's a very special. Art special bell. It's a very special toast to toast. We're all going to learn some lessons. Yeah, it's like I could say some stuff. But it's like honestly, we've said it before, and we'll move on. And it's you know, I don't think there's anything particularly insightful I can offer no. <laughs> in commentary. Although the, you, you no, it's not like insightful. Um, <laughs> the one thing that is stark, like so. I'm not surprised that he's going to hurl uh, yeah. accusations of being gay as a like as a slur because I grew up when I grew up that was that it was it was meant to be synonymous with stupid or bad right um, well or in his particular case immoral immoral yeah um, yeah but uh, one of the things that's a little bit striking now is I feel like nowadays. Slow poke people up, people would be more along the lines of like they they wouldn't care that that was the accusation is like well that i i'm not but that's like weird that you think that that's bad yeah um yeah. even but even then like it was it was kind of like oh you're like art wanted to him to apologize for that i don't think art if art was alive today i don't think he would want him to apologize for that uh i feel like art was a very supportive person uh, oh yeah anyway. yeah um, I, I know I frankly I know he was so like that's yeah you know, it's just it's just we, we phrase things differently. Uh, it was it's like it's it feels weird 
to say, but it's true. Like you like the 80s and 90s, like it was a different time. And these things were framed in different ways. Homosexuality, mental health, so many things where it's like, yeah, the conversation was just so vastly different. It's hard to conceptualize unless you were there. Right. Right. Where it was just, yeah. But yes, yeah. That's, I mean, this this sums it up just entirely, right? It does. It's, it's like, yeah, you're a Rush Limbaugh fan right there. Just throw mm-hmm. that out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just of the devil. The oh, you know, you're a one man losing campaign. You are not personally in touch with God. You're not in person in touch mm-hmm. with anybody. Well, you're totally out of touch with the reality of the here and now. You're still living in the dinosaur age no, under a rock like a piece of rifle or a piece of moss. You need to get with it, man, or get out of the program. All right, well, we'll hold it there. There, there you have it, JC. Uh, you, you, I, mean, I just don't see how you can accuse uh, over the phone. You have no way of knowing. You have no way of knowing what this man's sexual life is, and how can you uh, accuse him of that? You, a man supposedly of God. Well, um, there's lots of evil in the world, and the fact that he was coming off saying he loves the new age, usually that's a sign. Of what? Oh, evil and demons. Uh, Corruption. Corruption. (laughs) And, and, and... Hate for the Lord. Hate for the Lord. Hate for the Lord. Um, Wild Card Line, you're on the air with JC. Hello. Hi, this before we get that call, yeah. uh, I mean, Timothy Harmon, thank you for the $2 yeah. super chat. I was there. Thank you. Uh, Timothy, yeah. I mean, I guess I I, I don't know what to say other, other than we're, we're fellow uh, went through that battle together. Appreciate you. Yeah. These are better times in some ways and worse times in others. It, that's exactly it. I was talking to somebody about the other day how it's like in some ways better, in some ways worse. I don't know. Yeah, it's just change. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Doctor Don Hogg writes: the 20th century was barbaric from start to finish. I suppose I mean, that that is, is true in some ways, but it's like there was a lot of prog- a lot of progress made in the 20th century. Like you like the. 17th, 18th, 19th century through the 20th. Uh, a lot of a lot of things really changed for the better in the 20th century. Yeah, I, uh, there was definitely less uh, less slave trade or less uh, overt, legalized, accepted, socially acceptable slave trade. I guess at the time, there's lots. Of I mean, things, but... like previous 20th century, like homosexuality was a crime like an mm. actual crime that you would be sent to jail for or chemically castrated or crazy shit that happened pre 20th century and in the early parts of the 20th century that would seem insane to us now but was just the regular this is how life was for a thousand years, you know. Timothy says, so, I was there about two generations before you. I don't well, think, I think you're underestimating how how ancient of days that I am. Yeah. If you were there before, two generations before Paul, I'm impressed. But that would mean you were born in the 1800s. Like, even if, even if you count generation as 20 years. Yeah. That still means you were born in uh, in the nineteen thirties, uh, <laughs> so that's a long time ago. It's possible. It's definitely possible. Yeah, possible. And and either way, Timothy, we're not trying to uh, dispute you. We're just no. saying we appreciate you. We do appreciate you, Timothy, yep. so very much. All I'm <laughs> kind of trying to say is that the twenty that. Shit was crazy before the 20th century. The mm. 20th century is where a lot of things changed. And a lot of ideas and attitudes and things changed. And you look at the 500 years before that, it didn't really. I've also lived long enough to witness uh, the interesting phenomenon that there is a group of people for whom they assume that whatever days we're living in now yeah. uh, are the worst days yeah. that have ever been yeah 
But there's also people who just assume that like everything just blanket A to Z is the best that it's ever been. And it's just yeah. like so historically uh, blind to think that either of those could be the case. No. Uh, this I mean, is in a lot of ways, the second one kind of is true. Uh, so, I mean, in a lot of ways, so obviously, you know, in terms of just health and uh, yeah, some of those things, it's, but you might have but we are not, this stuff. is not, but, but it doesn't mean that we're at the pinnacle of enlightenment or the pinnacle of rationality no. or the pinnacle of no those things. J. Victor says, according to Brian Adams, the summer of 69 wasn't too bad. And you know what, Paul? Yep. That's when I got my very first six string. Mm. I bought it at five and dime. Did I, uh, you did you did you play it a lot? Bled. Yeah, till my oh. fingers bled. Yeah, it was the summer of 69. Yeah. How about the guys from school? Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> I can't remember the next lyrics. Uh, I think it's me and the guys from school. We had a <laughs> band we band played real never, hard. Yeah, should have like known that. we'd never. Uh, yeah. yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Again, yeah. I, I hope the kids are here. You know, using us as a reference for their lyric sheets. <laughs> so mm. that's what, we're here just for all. Yeah. We're a yeah. reference show. We're a reference uh, show. Timothy Harmon says, "Okay, one generation. Jeez. All right. Well, we're we're on his back." Well, you know, Timothy, we're a, we're a channel that prizes accuracy and honesty in all things. That it is if if there's one thing we're about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think yeah. you can tell right from the opening sponsor segment, right right through till yeah. where we are. Honesty, accuracy. Yep. Alcohol. We've we prioritize information over entertainment here. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Craig. Hi, Cindy. Uh, Anchorage, Alaska. Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, he's got something against Alaskans, Cindy. Well, that's true because he's been corrupted already by the, by the Canadian forces huh. coveting America. You were a part of Russia for once in the first place, and the fact that they probably have generational subversion going on is <laughs> not Where are you on all your information. <laughs> generational subversion. Yeah, because <laughs> the Russians never, never lose their hold on Alaska. Yeah, generational subversion is a phrase I've heard. But I would love to use that. The worst kind of subversion. <laughs> Paul. What's that? Where are you getting your information? I have my sources. You have your. <laughs> he talks to God, I have my lady. Sources, yeah, Don't God, you? and he are, are are banging out. I don't know if you heard, lady. But he's yeah, banging out uh, some some new Ten Commandments. He and God, the New Testament. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> and well, my primary goal is the, co the, the Lord. Excuse me. The comment that I have for you is: mm -hmm. there are a lot of Christians out here that are sitting and listening to you, and you are making our job that that God wants us to do a whole lot harder because you're making Christians and you're lumping all Christians together. As, um, and I know I'm speaking for a lot of Christians out there, you're making us all sound like fanatic freaks. That's no. why people don't listen to if us. If you have a strong point of view anymore, yeah. you're a fanatic freak. If you have, if you know clean cut what's right and what's wrong, they call you sick. That's what's wrong with today's world. Evil is accepted in our so faith. So when you approach us the way that you do, who anymore. is going to listen? There is no love in your heart when you're trying to get the message. No, through. there is love in my heart. I am okay, trying what to about your There is love in my heart. There is love in my heart. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody who doesn't understand how much I love them, I'm gonna fucking murder them. <laughs> mm. uh, uh, yeah. Dr. Don Hogg, xenobiologist at large, thank you for the super chat. Newfangled 1800s internet. Stop telegraph and fact stop. Stop. Yes. Yes. We have many technology. So Dave and I had a little chat beforehand so about uh -huh. the, the fax machine on on the yes. show yes yes i would love to hear what people's thoughts are so uh dave thinks and you may notice that the, the fax machine's a little quieter than normal mm -hmm. 
that maybe the gimmick of the fax machine may have may not be funny anymore. I I, I feel like maybe the maybe the gimmicks run into is Dave's hypothesis. So I would love to hear My hypothesis. Yes, but now so me. but but it's now been happening enough that there may be nostalgia value within yeah. the show, not like nostalgia value you, of culture. You, the Toast Toast viewers, are the ultimate arbiter. Exactly. So I would love to hear whether the whether everyone is is uh, do they have an emotional attachment to the? And I mean, don't get me wrong. I love the fax machine. Oh, you know what? We haven't have we been showing the belly cam all day? Is your dog still alive? No, I just I just turned it on. Yeah, good job, Bella. I spent a week in a house with multiple cats and dogs. Oh no. Oh. Just eating allergy medicine like it was candy. <laughs> I'm sure. Oh, yeah. Okay. That was in that was down in San Diego. That was down in San Diego. Yeah. 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 Yes, your actions should speak louder than your words. People should 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 see Jesus in your heart without you even having to say anything. No one no one is listening anymore. Everyone has turned away. They turned a deaf ear and a blind eye to the, the way you're talking to people. Well, I'm trying to a mixed, correct. Mixed response to the fax machine, Paul. Between hated the fax machine at first, but I'm resigned to it. To <laughs> okay. Love it, keep it, to love it, but the new volume is better, you know? So this is actually what I suspected was that people did hate it. But it yeah. has now become part of the show. The lower it would volume feel weird if it went away. away. <laughs> so, I, I let me. The fact, Christine being quiet was just a glitch. So let me get. That's right. <laughs> yeah. So um, let me go to a reference that only Timothy Harmon and I, who is two generations older than me, will catch. But so the top ten list on Dave Letterman. Yes. Yeah, I remember the top ten list on Dave Letterman. Yep. Started out as like the gimmick because he was just trying to do gimmicks to catch any attention at all because it was yeah. him and Johnny Carson and like who's going to pay attention to Dave Letterman, uh, yeah. and then it became like forty years later where it was like, well we can't stop doing the top ten now even though no, no one cares anymore it's just a, a nostalgia thing and it's not yeah. funny if but, you, you know, stopped all of a sudden it would be like where the fuck right it would be people? outrage and so. Yeah. That was roughly uh, what I, I guess my, my my query was amongst our our friends in the chat. Right. Yeah. Uh, oh, we got more super chats. We do have. So, Jay Victor, mm -hmm. you can go ahead and read these. I think it's time we move on to a pager ringing tone. The trouble is pagers, what's, what's like the universal pager ringing the vi tone? No, it would be vibrating sound. You get the buzz kind of yeah. okay, and then brain cramp for two dollars. How was the meetup, Dave? Well, <laughs> mixed success. I had a lot of great beers. Sadly, no one was able to actually meet up with me. Um, I don't know if Jancy's still in the chat. She tried, God bless. She tried and tried and kept messaging me. She's like, I'm trying this. There was, you know. Roads closed, there was landslides, there was all kinds of things preventing the shanty from meeting up with me. And I finally just messed her and I'm like, just like you gotta let this go. I get <laughs> That's it. Right. I want to come, but it's it's just it clearly is not gonna happen. There's just too much shit going on between LA and San Diego. Relax, it's fine. I'll be back at some point. We can meet up later. Um I had a lot of delicious beers. I was there with people I knew from San Diego. We had a wonderful time at Ballast Point. But sadly, no one from the Toast to Toast crew was able to meet us up. And that's the end of that story. But I was there for three hours and had you know a really good Woo! time. So a win. Yeah. We win. I brought home two uh, wonderful Ballast Point glasses. It was, uh, it was good times. Yes. Allison R writes the fax machine yeah. is iconic. Lower volumes is better. Okay. So so maybe not so iconic. <laughs> well no, yeah. but actually we did learn so we did adjust the volume. I mean, setting. I do feel like the fax machine is iconic and we kind of like it's part of the show now. 
Yeah. But yeah, maybe lower volume. <laughs> oh, I love this suggestion. Uh, yeah. Keep the facts. Can we also get the ICQ? Uh-oh. Ow. <laughs> Do you... Do you remember ICQ? Oh, I remember ICQ vividly. Uh -oh. Yes, absolutely. Uh -oh. Yeah. Uh -oh. Yeah. Uh, so someone in a video recently just played that sound. I think they were using it iconically as an, like some kid was using it as an uh-oh when they looked up uh-oh sound effects online. Right. But yeah, it very much triggered. Like I, I got an incoming message. It was, loved it. I know they did a Vichanti, yeah. Mudside's mm -hmm. closed part of the train tracks. There was this whole thing. And while I would have desperately liked to meet you and go, it's like there comes a point where it's just this is too, too much. Safety and sanity must prevail. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. You know, I'm pretty awesome. I'm not that amazing. You know, that's good to go. But there'll be there'll be another day. There'll be another opportunity in mm. the future. Scotty Orange Ooh. for five dollars says, "Please discuss Mormons and aliens." Wrong answers allowed. I feel like we have in the past. Well, I mean, I don't remember everything we ever talked about. I'm very drunk for most of these. Mormons, as I, I understand it, was kind it, of in the whole Nephilim thing, wasn't it? The the Mormons, aliens, the possibly, but like, don't. I, I guess wrong answers are allowed. So Mormons think that we, they are aliens. Yeah. And that every good Mormon will get their own planet that they will be king of. Yeah. Which is uh, a Buddhist idea, actually. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't know what else is to discuss. If you want, if you want to rule a planet. Be a Mormon. Again, again, let me, let me be clear. If you're a man. Yeah. Uh, a white man. Yeah. Everyone knows people with breasts or, you know. Genitalia or ovaries. Yeah. I guess no, genitalia no. everyone has. Ovaries. If you too, have ovaries. Too hormonally, hormonally imbalanced. Can't possibly hmm. rule a planet. Effectively. Can't possibly rule a planet with that. So that's no. what we know about Mormons and aliens. Yeah, that's. As go, I will say the uh, the Trey Parker Matt Stone musical, um, the Book of Mormon, the musical, fantastic. Everyone should see it. So Shannon and I had tickets to the performance oh, yeah? of the Book of Mormon. Uh, yeah. It was several months ago, and the morning that it was, I, I was just definitely, definitely ill, and I, so oh. I didn't get to go. So Shannon went with a friend instead. So I haven't seen it yet. You you would love it, Paul. I know, and I was so that was actually the worst part of like it, well, the worst part of the music is legitimately was good. It's Matt yeah. Parker and Trey Stone, so it's like no, this is a legitimately good musical. Yeah, and it's hilarious, and just it's everything about it's good. You would love it. Yeah, I I can't wait to get another chance, and Shannon assures me that she will go again. So perfect. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Oh, or a fifty six k modem. People will love hearing that. Well, yeah. frankly, the. The 56k modem isn't that different from the fax machine sound. Have you ever? What was the first first modem you had, Paul? 14.4. 14.4. Uh, yeah. Though I had, no, I shouldn't say it. I had a 9600. Okay. I had a 9600. The first one I personally had was 56k. Okay. But uh, there were people. But so the first modem that I had experience with were like. I want to say 1400, 14.4 baud. It was like the old school, like you put the phone receiver like on, you know, like your cradle. Yeah, 14.4 would have been the sort of the end of that era, right. for sure. And yeah. you put the phone on it and it would like play through. There yeah, there was, like, was a cradle for your handset. Yeah. 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 And that, but there the were first... even 4800 baud that had, um, that were straight to the phone line. So it depended on yeah. what you were getting. But the first modem I had experience with was. Pre okay. well that that existed but the it was a cradle one yeah with like yeah you, you put your handset on and like it plays the sounds and go but the first one i personally owned was 56k but um the real first experience i had with the internet was um shaw cable was high speed like it was already that was kind of like the first real internet that we kind of as a household had because we had high speed internet in Canada kind of 
before most of the states did. But wait, so you had something be, you had, you had something prior, past dial up. So no, so we had so we had dial up, right? Where it was like, yeah. like so. For example, I remember downloading troops, and I would do right. it late at night so that nobody would pick up the phone to interrupt this like four megabyte download. Cheers to Kevin it Rubio, be, where you are. I know you're yeah. you're not doing. He's not doing that well this week. So cheers to Kevin. Kevin, anyway. Kevin Rubio. Um, so that was a thing, but then very quickly we went uh, under shock cable, which was the Western version of Rogers. We had high speed even in the '90s. We had like an actual cable modem and high speed internet with like a dedicated line, uh, because that was much more prevalent in Canada before it was prevalent in the states. Yeah. Um. So that was pretty early on. That was my first experience with the internet was with like actual dedicated high speed. I don't know what the speed on it would have been, but it was more, you know, it was megabits as opposed to whatever K. Right. Yeah. And um, didn't interfere. And if somebody picked up the phone, it didn't wreck your, all your downloads. Yeah. Right. I was working at the telephone provincial telephone company at the time yeah, when, when well that aware. started yeah. blowing up. Yeah. And uh, I remember the CEO so short sighted <laughs> because he, he loved the internet because it was selling him second lines. So many people right. were getting second lines installed in their house. Right. Yeah. And that's what he thought the internet was about was like selling more phone lines. I'm like, no, man, you don't get it. <laughs> it's like... Anyway. Uh, ISBN is maybe what you had. Um. Anyway, you wouldn't know, but it, I'm just thinking. Back no, to I'm my... trying to. It might have been. I can't remember what Shaw had going. So ISBN Shaw. was uh was kind of giving the first time like it. So it wasn't cable and it wasn't fiber optic. So did you, or or did you have a cable modem? It would have been cable. Yeah. Okay, so you had a cable, so you did not have ISBN. Cable. Absolutely yeah, not no. then. So yeah, you, so you had among the first cable modems, or it was like a coax yes. cable. Yeah. It was on coax. It was all on yeah. coax. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm that's enough walk down that memory lane. We got Jay Victor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is we're we're just losing everybody. Nobody fucking yep. cares anything about uh that. Jay Victor says yeah. English is not my first language. So it took me years after ICQ was a thing to realize that its name alludes to ICQ. Yeah. I see you. I see you. What was that Britney Spears song? Uh, um, I if, don't. Oh, if, if you seek a me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I don't. I am not familiar with. So. The so the song was if you seek a me. Yeah. But if you say it correctly. Or not correctly, if you say it a certain way, it's, it's F U C K M E. Ah, yeah. So yeah, it, was, it was this way around um, yeah. getting, you know, the the kids could wink and nudge, and they knew what the knew what the hip thing was. It's it's much like you know, uh, the Beatles. Like I want to hold your hand. Apparently, that was about that. Also, was about uh, you know more than yeah. holding hands. Yes. Yes. You know who has hands? The devil. <laughs> the devil. The devil. It's one of my favorite um, Walk hard. Dr. Don Hogg, xenobiologist. Yeah. Meet up at BahaCon 2024, Sarnia, Ontario, August 9th to 11th. Well, Sarnia is pretty much equidistant between Paul and myself. Mm. The odds of either of us being at Sarnia are... Slim. Indeed. Sadly. Um, I'm not saying uh, it's impossible, but the odds aren't good, Dr. Don. And Scotty Orange. Scotty Orange $2. says Don't fold me, bro. I don't know don't what that reference me, bro. is. I mean, just a good hmm. general sentiment. Paul. Paul? Yes. Don't fold me, bro. I know right now you're thinking about folding me. You gotta, Dave, you gotta know when to hold them. <laughs> Is that what you gotta do? 
and know when to fold them. Okay. Know when to walk away. Yeah. And know when to run. So I feel like the the last three are roughly the same. They're all about quitting. But tell me, when do you count your money, Paul? Not when you're sitting at the table. Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. But when do you? There'll be time enough for counting. Right. When when the dealing's done. Okay. Yeah. No, that makes sense. But I actually feel like it's it's super important when you're playing, you know, poker to know how much money you have. <laughs> That's oh, actually it's incredibly important. Yeah, it's actually important. the gambler yeah. from Kenny Rogers is terrible gambling advice. Terrible advice because you really, really need to know how much money you have yeah. going into this all in. You know, somebody you've got a full house. What's going on here? It's like you better fucking know how much money you have because if you don't, you're you're destroyed. Just you never stop. count your money when you're sitting at the table. Like, what if you're no, not in the hand? Absolutely, you're not like absolutely. It's... Yeah, count your money before you go all in. Yep. On this, like ten king. You want to calculate the odds? Yeah. 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 Absolutely. So, Dave, we're oh, we're nearing on, the top of the down. hour. We're nearing. Don't touch me. A Brack voice. Yep. Yeah. Sorry, Visanti. Threw out one of my favorite references. I love Brack. Oh my goodness, more super chats. More super chats. Uh Jay Victor. Fun fact, Lady Gaga straight up sneaked straight up sneaked an F her face in the lyrics of Poker Face. I mean, probably. Sadly, I'm grossly ignorant of Lady Gaga's canon. Well, that's your loss. It is. I feel like it is. We're far from the shallows now, Dave. Yeah. By the way, I thought that was, I thought, uh, I thought that, uh, that movie, which I've now forgotten the name of it. Anyway, the Bradley Cooper, uh, Lady Gaga one. I, I always felt like that was the me and Shannon relationship, and I was definitely Bradley Cooper in that. The embarrassing old man who needed to get out of the way. That's a sad note to end the show on. We can't end that. Let's give some. The mistake. I, still got half well, a beer I tell you, as far, as far as art show goes, mm-hmm. I, he, I don't agree with a lot of the things, the guests that come on and they say things. But yeah. if there are no, no other voices out there, how are people going what are to know? What are you talking about? There's no other voices out Listen, there. Listen, how are people going to know? There what's is out there? another voice. Of are you going? Discussion? Are you going to? You want people to be ignorant about what is out there? No, you don't, you don't need to learn about these kinds of psychic listen, phenomena. If, what you, you are in, if you want to throw in the world, if you want to throw information in the world, there's a really great book that I know, and in fact, it's been in print for longer. Is it the Bible? I bet it's not. I okay. bet it's not. But maybe it, it, I feel like that's too obvious. I'm hoping he's got something else besides the Bible, but. For a real long time, it's called the Bible. I know that's plenty of information. I am not a religious person. I have a oh, relationship you have with what? the Lord. Did you? What did you say? I said I am not a religious person. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I have. I have a relationship with him. With who? Jesus. With Jesus, but you're not religious. Hmm. Well. Okay. No, religious. It. Re- Sounds like the church lady for a minute there. <laughs> oh, Satan. Satan. Yeah. Interesting. You did. So you, you have a relationship with religious, Jesus, but you're not religious. But you don't attend church. <laughs> mm. yep. And religion is something you do every day, like I religiously brush my teeth, or I religiously <laughs> good. You need to have a relationship with Jesus. What are you talking about? I do have a relationship. I have been imparted with the new revelation. The don't you understand that I am receptor of the new commandments and that through me, God and I are working in close harmony to save God, America. God works through. God and I are working in harmony to mm. save America. Well, America. That's what God's <laughs> primarily concerned with. <laughs> God yeah. couldn't save America on his own. Yeah. He had to partner. With JC. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, Vishanti, I'm both delighted and sorry. Did you catch my reference there? Well, 
isn't that special? And we have Timothy Harmon. Another yes. super chat. Oh, I, that, this is funny. I had Dickens. I'm guessing that goes back to which book he was talking about. Yes. I have a book. Oh, oh, was it Christmas Carol? Yeah. <laughs> was it Christmas Carol? <laughs> Dickens. Yeah. Uh, I do. You know, so. JC is a direct 14.4 connection to God. As much as I uh, uh, completely disagree with everything JC says, mm -hmm. back when I was a more, um, how would you describe it, Paul? Enthusiastic. A enthusiastic advocate of mm -hmm. the. There were people I knew who were like, oh, I'm a Christian. It's like, I never go to church. I don't believe all these things. But it's like, but I'm a Christian. And I'm like, mm, but. Yeah. This is what the Bible says. Mm -hmm. So, like, if you don't believe any of these things, are you just calling yourself a Christian because that's what your parents were and you want to feel that thing, but you never do, like, you know, take it or leave it, whatever, whether you agree or disagree. It's like Christianity is pretty clear about these are the core tenets of this faith. So if you don't adhere to these... And you're like, well, uh, the, the blah blah blah. I don't do this, but but I'm a Christian. Like, uh, uh, okay, yeah. are you? Yeah. Are you? Are you? Are you though? Are you though? That. Yeah. One of my viewers was going to help me with a thing this last oh. week. Okay. And. uh and and he wrote, well, I can't right now because the book that I would need to reference uh, is on my girlfriend's side of the bed, and she's a Christian, and she won't <laughs> like it. And I'm like, wait, <laughs> so well, uh, what? <laughs> wait, so the woman you're sleeping with, <laughs> yeah, uh, she will be upset to find out you're yeah. helping, yeah, because she's a Christian. It's she's like a Christian. So yeah. this isn't your wife. <laughs> this no. is just. No, like, yeah, the, no, the she's not, she's not, friend, she's not a yeah. Christian, not by, by any standard that I would have thought was okay. Yeah. Yep. You know, yeah. That is one of the big ones. It's like, yeah. yep. Anyway, uh, Dr. Don Hogg, thank you once again. JC, Jesus, God, and Holy Spirit, Barbershop Quartet. Uh, although I'm not sure JC has the best singing voice. I mean, you don't know. I don't know. He, he, uh, maybe it's because in his speaking voice is entirely strained. Yeah. I feel like he'd be a good sort of like alto range, mm. you know? Yeah. It's got that kind of, it's got the twang, get that high. Yeah. He, he's not a very calm individual, so I'm not sure we're getting. No, that. definitely not. <laughs> Maybe he played a lot of stand-up bass. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lots of different people. No, not, not very many. You. He does not work through you, obviously, because you're just in denial. That you you love art and everything he can do is fine. And, and the more he, I never said that. Americans fine with me. What's that? I didn't say that. Well, you, you weren't even listening. So you don't even listen. Yes, I am listening to you. No, I'm I said you. I do not agree here, here, with all of the, all of the guests that come on. That the way that you approach uh, Christianity and trying to spread the gospel mm -hmm. is with with anger. I uh, see. All right. So thank you, man. So so what they're saying to you, JC, is that you're harming Christianity. You're harming it. Well, and I, I, and I thought this ought to get through to you. And what and I am hearing is the fact. Of these people who have been infested by the devil, infested by screams of agony against my righteous might. That's all I'm hearing. How how are you empowered to know they're infested by? Oh my God, Vishanti nailed it. She nailed it. Oh, JC sounds like the SNL the Ross Perot. Yeah, can I finish? Yes. Can I finish? I just I I can't finish. I just have one thought. It, it's Dana Carvey <laughs> doing Ross Perot. Dana Carvey yeah. Ross Perot. Yep. He sounds exactly fucking like that. That is exactly <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah fish. Yeah, fish. Can I, can I finish? Can I just? Yeah, I'm. I'm hearing a lot of talk about this. Can I, I just have one point. Can I just finish? Can I finish my point? Yeah. 
Oh, yeah. Thank you, Scotty Orange, um, for the super chat. Did God create the Mad Max Crocoduck? Witness me. Witness me. Yes, God did create the Mad Max Crocoduck. And all other things. And all other Scotty things. Scotty Orange. So, Dave, we are now just wrapping up. Hour four. Yeah. Hour four. I feel I, like maybe. Yeah, I feel like we are not making productive progress at this point any longer. No. So, uh, if the audience cares, let us know. Would you like to see a part two of JC? Mm -hmm. We definitely have enough. Um, definitely have enough material to do further episodes. Yeah, how far are we in of the six-hour compilation? Uh, thir Thirty-six minutes. <laughs> Thirty-six minutes of the of the uh, so yeah, we didn't even do one hour. <laughs> so. Mm -hmm. Uh, I I did enjoy. I I don't know about you. I enjoyed immensely. Oh, so much, Paul. Uh, as always, the chatting with Chefs, you guys yeah. in the chat is the highlight of yes. it all. The the whole JC or whoever the guest is is always just merely the catalyst for good conversations. Yeah. But and Matthew K is asking for part two, which is thank you, thank you, Matthew. Oh yeah, but all Dave, kinds of people in chat. Part two, yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. Do you have for us today, or do you have a joke for us to end on? Oh, fuck. I forgot we did a joke. Uh, okay, that's fine. We don't need a joke because no, we had hey, JC. No, I got a joke. I got a joke for you, Paul. Okay, okay. what's... The, all right. Um, I've been taking my dog to the dog park, Paul. You know, let him run around, leash off, dog park. And every time I do, ducks attack him. Ducks just swarming this dog, biting them, taking chomps out of them. What the hell? I mean, I guess it's my fault. That's what I get for buying a purebred. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. This is what this is what you get for me. <laughs> this is what you get. Oh, I liked it. Purebred. That you was like good. It? That was good. I liked right. it. Yeah. All right. There you go. Yeah. Uh, and uh, Doctor, oh, we had more super chats. But people don't want us to stop, Dave. People, people don't want us to stop. They're paying us to keep going. We had uh, yeah. JC, JF, JC first Fridays of the month. Well, maybe, I mean, maybe, maybe. We don't want to overdo do, it. We, we don't want to only do two two streams a month. So that's, right. That's but, and I don't. Stream. I don't know if we want to do back to back JCs necessarily, but uh, yeah, I feel like we got to give a couple episodes. Let JC breathe. But uh, but I think this is going to be a good go to for us for a while because I I enjoyed it I enjoyed it, uh, Green Man Dave, uh, uh oh Dave disappeared Dave's gone. Green Man Dave appreciate you don't come to Sarnia this year though the lineup is amaze balls rather come next year so I can hang out with you two and Shannon well maybe maybe we'd love to to do that, uh Dave is gone. He disappeared. So I will bid you 